Good afternoon, guys. Hope you guys are having an awesome, magical Monday afternoon. We are coming to you live here from Epcot, yep. right underneath a spaceship Earth. Nice and breezy here. It is. So. Yeah, and it's statistically, there's like some scientific reasoning for it. If you're under the ball, even on a still day, there is a breeze. There's so. always a breeze under Spaceship Earth. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if they've ever determined the actual scientific reasoning Something for it. Something to do with the design and the shape. It just um, increases airflow. So even on a day where it's really hot, if you need yourself a breeze and there's no breeze anywhere else in the park, you can find it right, right here. under here under Spaceship Bird. And right now you're going to find us here in the parks. If you are here today in Epcot and you just happen to see us, please come up and say hello. We'd love to say hello to you guys and hope you guys uh, get a chance to come and spend a few minutes with us here in the afternoons. We're going to try to go live in a Disney park every Monday afternoon for the time moving forward. At now we're going to we're going to try to change it up a little bit and go to different parks but we want to make sure that on mondays you have something to look forward to a little bit of disney pixie dust so thank you guys so much for being a part of our monday afternoons when you guys are watching this if you're having a great time if you enjoy seeing the parks uh we'd love it if you give our, our videos a thumbs up yes, we'd please. love if you're watching for the first time uh, to give us a comment let us know that you're watching and let us know where you're watching from yes, we and that. we also find out a lot of times people from coming over from facebook or from instagram We'll click the links and go, well, wait a minute. I can't chat. I can't comment. I want to talk with you guys. The best thing you can do is, if you haven't done it already is, is open up your free account on YouTube. It's really easy. Do that. Pick, pick a really cool account name. And so you can chat with you guys in the live chat. We'd love to do that. Yeah. So uh, as a BD, uh, BDF, hi from Kansas. Oh, well, that's a, that's a, we haven't had anybody from Kansas on in a while. So that's really cool. Good afternoon from Mexico, hola, uh, and have a uh, good afternoon there. Uh, we got somebody from Iowa. Hey, Ashley, how are you doing this Hi, afternoon? Ashley. And uh, it's cool. We're uh, we're gonna be uh, checking out some of the pavilions here today yes. as we walk around, but we are definitely are gonna be going over to China today. Yes. There's a few things we wanna Ooh, check out. So, We were there Linda. the other day and there was some cool stuff. So we I know, I wanna go back. I wanna, see, I wanna see if my Katana umbrella is still there. <laughs> I don't think it oh, will Oh man, if it is, if there is, you guys have to stick with us because if that Katana umbrella is still in the China shop, it's mine. It's mine today, <laughs> it's gonna happen. So uh, would you guys be there? Uh, who's it? from San Diego, was it Linda? Oh. Oh, I love San Diego. We loved it when we lived out in Santa Clarita, out in uh, the Los Angeles area. Love taking uh, trips down to San Diego, uh, especially the zoo, uh, SeaWorld, and some of the other locations yes. down there. So loved it, San loved Diego. It. It's a great place to visit. Uh, but we're going to be visiting all kinds of places if we go around the World Showcase today. Do us a favor. If there's something you want to see as we walk around, if you want to ask a about a product, out. let us know in the comments. We'd love to give you some more information, especially about prices. Lots of times we hear about prices. Going, well, how much was that? How much was that? Let us know. We want to let you guys have that information. <laughs> sometimes I try to remember all of them, but I can't remember all yeah, of them Yeah, sometimes today. we miss it. So if there's something you're looking for, to ask. But we're going to do some shopping today as well. So first of all, I want to pop into the Pin Trader. We're going to pop into uh, the Pin Trader's uh, store right over here behind us. We'll check that out. We're going to go over to Mouse Gear, have a little bit of there, see what new products see if we can find. there's anything new out. Yeah. There's a specific plush I'm looking for. And if you guys don't know what that plush is, just wait. Surprise. It's more for the older older groups That's right. you know if i can find this particular plush that came out new this weekend here at walt disney world and if there's anything else we always love to hear some feedback from you guys what you want to see what you want to do let us know we can't do it all there's something we can definitely do we want you to be a part of our trips as we go through the park so thank you guys so much for joining us let's have some fun up yeah. so I'm, I'm loving i'm loving the fact that uh we started out here with the breeze because it was a little warm out there right it's really a warm park. There's not a lot of trees. A lot of concrete. Shade. There's a five-minute wait on Spaceship Earth. So that's not bad at all. And today's a holiday. Today's Columbus Day. Or in other places, Indigenous People's Day, depending on the places and locations. But lots of schools, lots of schools have today off. So. It has. It has shown its long lines, longer lines today. Good afternoon. How are you doing today, Amanda? Hey, we're in the shade, so. That is perfect. So, by the way, I'm gonna we're gonna put you on. Amanda is one of our Disney Photo Pass photographers. We love our cast members, but we love Disney Photo Pass. So you guys take such great photos of us. Thank you so much, Amanda. Appreciate it. 
Oh, did you find the flower and garden buttons? Oh, oh my gosh, the 30% off. They're 30% off. That's that right, all the flower and garden stuff is 30% uh, off, but I haven't seen the pins yet. Yeah. It would be $32.99 before the discount. So, and guys, if you're an annual pass holder, just keep in mind, it's 30% off, so and then another 30% off of 30 that. 30 plus 30, which almost comes up to about... It comes up to about 50%. 50%. Yes. So these four pins normally would be $32.99. So just over sixteen dollars for four pins. Hey, and one of them's Orange Bird. Anybody an Orange Bird fan? That's right, love Megan. Everybody bird. loves Orange Bird. What can you not like Orange Bird? So sweet. Every once in a while you get a, a sour orange. So and almost all of the 2020 merchandise is still buy one get one. So take advantage of those while you can. Did you find one of the new uh, pin trader? See, Andrew's, Andrew's got my back. Andrew's like, get that umbrella. You, Andrew's, Andrew's got me taken care of. Good afternoon, Steve. How are you doing? All right, so that's... This is cute. Okay, so it's a bag. Long strap, adjustable. It's like blue with rose lettering. It's like blue with rose gold trim. So that's not silver. I'm not sure what else can be across the front. It's actually like a rose gold. And it's quilted. It's quilted. It's quilted, so it looks really fancy. I'm fond of Working. <laughs> Making it work. You work it, Steve. And then it's got... Keep the volume down low. <laughs> and then it's got lots of spots to put pins. It's got, like, pages. Wow, there's lots of, lots of pages. Oh, yeah. That's deep. Yes, very deep. So you can put a lot of pins. Oh, and it's got a, uh, it's got a uh, pocket in there. Pocket so you can keep, like, you know, and... What do you guys use? You know, if you guys pin trade, what do you Extra use... Bags. You know what I use the that's for? Extra backs and something else. The little lock. I like the I like the I like the I keep the card backs. Yeah, oh that's true. I'm a little bit crazy backs. like that, but I like to keep the card back. A little little uh compulsive about that. But I like that. So you can carry them with you just like you got a purse. Yeah, that would be my pen trading purse. Well it would be my pen trading purse. You get you get that cool bag and I get and a I, I get a pouch. Point out too. I could I could carry that. Well, I could do that bag. I could do that. This comes out. I just want to show this to you. So, what? Like if ladies, if you actually wanted to use this as a purse, it's Velcro. You can actually pull this fully out. Oh, so you could like pull it out all the way and yeah, see all the pins? Actually, yes. Or you could just take the pins out and use it as a bag at some point if you need to. <laughs> Megan says it's very Pan Am like. It does look very Pan Am. That was my thought as well. It's very like fancy, like airline. It even has like a strap. It is like a seatbelt. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. Um, now we... Uh, and it is... Brenna wants to know what's on your magic pen. Um, that is mini. Rockin' the Dots. Rockin' the Dots mini. Yeah, Rockin' the Dots mini. You know, back, this was back in like January, February of 2020, about eight to, eight, eight to nine years ago. Mm -hmm. Was that in January of 2020? Is that how long ago it's been? Uh, so. So, the bag? It's $39.99. It's $39.99. And of course, you know... We're looking at it from a 30% off. <laughs> so Every, off everything off everything off for annual pass holders. I am highly tempted, but I'm If you are not an annual pass holder, you need to go to the parks with a pass holder friend. That's just... Right now, that it would be good for you. you know, so, this, um, this has always been an open edition pen, but I've always liked it. It's Stitch. It's Gotta love my Stitch. <laughs> that is new. Did you hear they're making a Space Mountain live action movie? It's going to last about two and a half minutes long. It's it's going to be great. So, oh wait, he moves. Whoop, go Stitch. Look at that. Stitch is my buddy. So you found a... You oh, this found a, is also for pens. This could be your bag. That would be my bag? It's like a half pack. Yeah? Half pack. Well, I could do that. And it's got... Too bad it doesn't come in near to your magic blue. Is that, a, is that an official color yet? Can we call can we call Crayola? The ear to ear so it's magic got, blue. This can what is and this? Got, so you can put them on both sides. Oh, both sides. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's got a little Velcro to open each them up. Yep, each of them open. So we've got lots of pages in here for that. Anybody anybody in here a pin trader? It does Velcro off like the other one as well. Okay. See, that's a really cool thing I've not seen them do Use before. Because I've got a large bag, but you can't you you can't do them that way. Got, 
this cute little pocket. So it's just like our super backpack. It's got little magnets there. You don't have to actually... Huh. After we look at this, we have to have a stern talking to Megan. Megan, already know about these things? No, Megan. Megan's in major trouble. Why? We're gonna, we're gonna have to pull her aside. What did Megan do? Megan, Megan says she's never seen Lilo and Stitch. Oh. I know, I know. Next time you, next time, next time you come, we're we're gonna set up a special previewing at the yacht club. Ugly though in stitch. Yeah. That is cool. I like the, I mean, I like this, like our backpack. It is. What is the, uh, it's just got a little, it's got, I want to see the, it's like a Pin Traders logo, isn't it? Yeah. It's the new one that they started the first of the year. Yeah, little Pin Traders logo. The second one here. So it's very, I mean, this is. How much cool. is that bag? It is $49.99. For, wait a minute. It's bigger. Okay. It's bigger. Um, you can hold a lot more pins in this yeah, it's true. I, I like that. Oh, and I like that's kind of cool. You could hang something there. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I like that. I still like that. Bring all the pins. So I'm going to walk over to like the. the gray bag? I mean, I like it is. That is. There you go. That is. That's a, that's a pretty cool bag. Um, we don't carry pins with us as much anymore because I've got a large bag. Um, and, uh, it's just, it just, it's not conducive to park, you know, it's carrying not, around. Totally but that one, you can actually, the pages are velcroed on the other side. You can pull the whole thing out. So if you don't want to pinch it anymore, yeah, so you, just have the cute little you can have a huge backpack. I noticed that on that cute little back. That is an excellent feature. So you can actually go back and, and, or my thing is, is when I'm showing people the pin, sometimes it's kind of hard. If you can pull it out, it comes out of it. So that's a lot easier to show. If you're just showing somebody your pins. I just hope that eventually they would have like refillable pages for that. Oh, that would be fun. Like like just the switch them out. What a what a way to one. what a way to upsell too. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't thought about that. You could just rotate out your little pins. That is all. I'm just and I like that one. So what I tend to do is I fill my pin bag up with pins I like, and then I don't use that bag anymore because it's got up all my my keeps, all my collectibles. But if you what you're saying is if you got I could pull those out and put a whole nother page in and yes. then start to get all over again. That's a great idea. Yes, I like that. Are there, are there Disney microphones picking this stuff up? So, <laughs> <laughs> the executive's going, bing, we got it, we got it. Lay that down. A That's a keeper. <laughs> I'm going to go check out the uh, window over here with the uh, limited edition pins. So um, I'm going to show you guys. I have a hard time shopping, Andrew. It's it's bad. It could. I, I've I've learned to contain myself. I used to be a whole lot worse. So this is a brand new limited release haunted mansion pen that came out a week ago Thursday, I believe. Mm -hmm. It does glow in the dark. It's a pretty large pen. I don't know if you if it's large enough to be considered a jumbo pen, but it's larger than your normal. That's around thirty bucks. Yeah, it's heavy. And the four below it, I I can't can, I, I I can't say this is true. I have no idea whether or not this is true or not, guys. But I swear that if we had had a not so scary Halloween party, these pins would have been part of it. I just have a feeling that somehow it would have been part of it. Yeah. But they are, you got Jafar, Maleficent, Hades, and Dr. Facilier. So those four, those four are all limited edition pins. The ones are adorable. So, and of course we've got uh, the food and wine pins. Um, I collect cooking pins, so those are definitely on I am the shocked, list. to be honest. I didn't pick this pin up when it first came out. Is I am shocked that this is still available. All right. All right, Disney trivia people. Name the mice. Who are these mice and where are they from? Who's going to get extra bonus points today? If you can name these two mice. And then there's going to be a follow-up question. All right, Jen's first in with the rescuers. What's the name of the mice? It's Bianca and Brennan as well, the rescuers. What's his name? It starts with the same letter, too. That's kind of easy. Yeah. Is everybody Googling at this point? <laughs> That's, yeah, they all know Bianca, but they don't know the poor guy. Let me find the it is. It's, it's Bianca and Bernard. So... 
Ba Bianca and Bernard, oh, they are from the rescuers. Okay, so these are the food and wine. And all right, oh. now we're going to get to the hard trivia. Who were the voice actors who played Bianca and Bernard and the rescuers? Do you have any idea? I'm going to put Susan on the spot. Any I know. Idea? I can see. I can write a picture of her face, but I'm blanking yes. on her name. Brenda, they do. They say Penny. That was a really kind of a film. It really was. Yes. It was really, I mean, it's kidnapping of a poor girl. But uh, she, she got saved in the end. Yes, it was That's good. That's my rule. Scary things can happen, but in the end, happy. Messed up. All right, so... Bianca was voiced by none other than Zsa Zsa Gabor. You knew that, right? It's Zsa Zsa. Right? Yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> and um, Bernard, Bob Newhart. Bob Newhart. And he did a really good job. He did a really good job. It didn't sound like... It, I mean, it, it almost... I don't know. He, he really kind of filled in and really kind of, I think, made that character. It almost was a Bob Newhart of a mouse. Mm -hmm. So, so let's see. I want to put this on. But we've got, um, they do have some, some cool pins still available. And it's cool to see that they have um, Bianca and Bernard. I might have to pick that up later. Hey, do we need a gift card? We can grab a gift card. Have you guys seen these? This is actually oh, look, the Flower Spike. and Garden Festival one, which is double fun because this little sheet of paper right here. Has flower seeds in it, so you can like plant it. And it's just a piece of paper, but it's actually embedded with seeds. So when you go home, you can put it in the ground, water it, and flowers will come yes. out. But these are handy because you can just put them on your wrist, and you don't have to like dig out your credit card. You just that's how we budget. Venice so. says I should get the Bianca and Bernard pin now. I really, I, I I'm gonna, I'll, I'll hold off. I'll hold off after the live stream. I might, I might come a little bit later. All right, and so now these these are the cups from the um, flower and garden. There were cups there had an orange bird and a mini, and those are the only two left. And now, when you do the Remy's hide and squeak, you can get the really cool water bottles here with Remy, Mickey. Oh, Brenda's making me all stressed out now. <laughs> it's gonna go somewhere. Jim wants me to pick her up a pen. We're, we should get pens for everybody. <laughs> I should start doing that on live streams. We should just pick up a pen every so often and just give it away to somebody on the live stream. That would be fun to do. We might we might wait to pay the electric bill first. <laughs> All right, so Susan has, has loaded us up. We're going to slip on back out here. We are. We don't have to pull our our cash out now. They uh, they still do pin trading. I'll let you see over here that they have a pin trading board right over here. It's a large one here. So That's it's pretty large, actually. So they have uh, they have it set to where the only person who can touch the pins are the cast members. Um, they will. You will tell them which pin you want. They'll pull it off the board. And then you can give them your pin, and they will put it inside of a box, which will be later. Um, disinfected. disinfected before it's put back on the board. So that way all the pins that are on the board have been uh, disinfected before. So a little bit safe. Oh really? Is that how they've done? Silver ones up in the left corner. Uh, see, I like that. Oh, those are all the chaser pins. All the chasers are at the top there. So... Steve says he'll gladly pay me Friday for a Corolla the, the, the bill pen today. Uh, <laughs> only it worked that way. Ooh. I do that with food. My hamburgers. All right, now when we, oh wow. When we came by here earlier, it was five minutes, remember? Now it is 30. Look at this. It's 30 minutes now. This is normal though. This, this is the lesson to be learned from this. If the line is long, give it a few minutes. It also means if the line is short, get in it. <laughs> there are a lot of... Well, I mean, if it's five minutes, go for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Minutes. It did, it did jump from five minutes to 30, though. That was a yes. pretty big jump in, like, the yes. time we were just in the store. It's entirely possible that they just went through a disinfection cycle. That's true. 
if that happens, that always. Now you guys have heard us talk about that before. We'll talk about it again. Every two hours, uh, Disney does disinfect every one of their ride vehicles, which means that if you just happen to show up right about the time that the two hours is up, there will be a delay. They will stop. The cars will be uh, basically sprayed yeah. with a disinfectant. And in this situation, this is an Omni mover, so the cars are continually moving. So they're um, going to spray them all. They're going to spray them all. So an entire ride cycle, for as long as it takes for the ride to go through, um, they will empty out all the cars, spray them down, and let the cars go all the way through one time so that this infectant can, can dry, do its job. So let's just say it takes you five minutes or 10 minutes for a ride to go through a cycle. That's how long nobody will be on the ride. So if you happen to catch it at that time, yeah, it's like the ride is down for like five or 10 minutes, depending on which ride you're going to be on. So now some of them vary. So for example, um, it's a small world. They'll load every other boat so that they're still moving some people through and they disinfect half and then they disinfect the other half. So it just varies from ride to ride. Another ride. Regardless, it but is Just keep in mind, if you get into line and all of a sudden everything just seems to. That's probably what happened. Now let's talk about this real quick. New signs. New signs. New signs all over the parks. If you guys have just, not seen them, just in case you didn't, were not aware. <laughs> Disney's it's making it very, very clear. clear rules. Guests not properly wearing an approved mask will be asked to leave. I mean, they're just making it a point blank at this point. Yeah. No ifs, ands, or buts. Not being nice about it. Oh, it's we just, did see them stop someone on the way in. They did have a mask, but it had the ventilators, vents, little ventilate, vents on the sides. Vents on the side, and they do not allow that mask type inside. So. If um, it's if it's not a solid mask, if it has air holes in it whatsoever, yeah. they will they will ask you to leave now here's the thing they're not i don't think they're going to ask anyone to leave no in the they're beginning gonna say here is where you can get a different mask. let's let's give you an opportunity but you or, need to do something but here is how you need to this is where they're covering mask. themselves there are certain people who just refuse to play well, by the rules. the rules the the important rules are properly wearing yes so you can't pull it down below your nose you cannot pull it above your chin you cannot pull it down while you're walking wearing it you by your head drink, or so. yeah so i mean let's just be honest this is this is always something that was uh implicitly stated but you know but now we got to get to the point They're where just making it clear making it very clear um because there are people that we've seen and we've even seen some guests who generally speaking most people follow the rules that should yeah. be very upfront like i've us. seen a lot we've of worn comments masks since day one. people say oh everyone's not wearing masks we have not seen that and we are in the parks you know multiple days every week we haven't no. seen that but there are a few people as everywhere you might go well, on friday we were watching the cavalcade come by and you know liberty and i were standing there and i had a cast member walk up how in the world also be the wi-fi so i mean it's not it's not a situation in which they're concerned about people just accidentally slipping it down or it's really for people who just they try not to they're trying the they're trying they're their try hardest to not to follow the rules not as possible yeah the people that they ask them to put their mask up and then as soon as they think the customers walk away to pull back down again yeah we had a little we had a little problem with the wifi the wifi went out the wifi they're like working like right there they're Banging. The Guardians of the Galaxies in action. Thank you. So, that is awesome. That's right, the Wi-Fi. <laughs> this is this is the Wi-Fi. She's working fine. <laughs> She's working overtime. It's the it's the Wi-Fi that's not working on us today. <laughs> no Wi-Fi for you. One year. Hopefully, uh I just imagine there's Groot inside there with a little mallet just banging away. So, but that's so this is the first this is the ride. first we've actually heard like actual yeah. construction Generally, as walking by. Working on it at night or like it's the coaster, which is actually in the building. Oh, Jen, I hope Rocket's not sense. back there. Uh, Rocket's like stealing make, stuff. He makes a mess. Of all of a sudden, all the batteries are gone. He steals people's, you know, artificial legs. And I know. I was looking at that, Andrew, and I was like, I could, I could do that. Get that kimono over there. Yeah, that's that cool. would go great with my katana umbrella. That was cool. So, Rocket is so great. Trash He's uh, <laughs> trash <fan. laughs> Oh. That's 
that's what our kids refer to raccoons as now, guys. Well, they are they're trash pandas. Trash pandas. I know. But that's but that's a that I, that is, it's, that's it's, a movie it's, that introduced us. It's to that done race. in love and it's done in respect. Because who doesn't love a panda? I love pandas. Like, oh, Mom, it's a look, trash, that panda. trash panda. Just ran across the road. Look, and we're gonna show you another view. We're gonna look over here toward the play pavilion, the wonders of life. You can see that they have been doing some extensive work on the roof there as well. They have, and there so. were, they filled in a couple more of those triangles. So like the old color was the yellow. If you pulled up, you can see like at the base, yep. at the very, very top. They've been replacing it with solar kind of bronzy gold. And there were scattered across the top yellow. Like materials. The brighter yellow, like the old color. Like they maybe did, didn't fit quite right. And now I don't see any on the top. They're so, only down low. So. Man, I'm just so excited about this whole thing. I mean, this is going to eventually be the play pavilion where I guess we'll be able to come over and meet characters, which is why when you walk through here, you're going to see stuff like, like uh, Wreck-It Ralph here. Yeah, you're going to see Big Hero 6. And That's exactly what this is referring to. Yeah. The play pavilion is going to be the hub for meet and greets and play areas here in Epcot once that thing is open. Yes. Uh, so that besides Games. the Guardians of the Galaxy. So, so man, we just come on, Epcot. Remy, Keep working. So much coming. So much coming. We won't even be able to recognize. The over there, the Space 220. 220. I think it's actually had some uh, progress. We'll swing by there and see if we can get anything to sing with that. So, well, let's do some more shopping. Where are my mouse gear? I want to make sure we look into some stuff. Some of you guys might not be able to join for the whole stream. So let's see what we'll find we can find with some new merchandise. So Keep you guys in the mix. We have talked about before ordering quite early and having it sent back to your room or to the front of the um part of the new box for the new box. So um you have to carry with you whatever you purchase. So generally we don't like to buy things at the beginning of the day. Because then we have to hold on to it. Yeah. And they won't send them back and yeah, they, they won't send it to our house. I mean, come on, send it to our house. Well, you guys, they, would they know that, us, right? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, Domino's delivers to our house. How cool would that be? If we bought that something at Disney. Awesome. We just said, hey, just send it to our house. And they're like, oh, we got it. We buy strange things like giant pieces of artwork. Oh, well, we do do that. That would be kind of weird. You do not carry around the park with you. And hand sanitizer. So here's the thing. Um, I really Lame. Like this. <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry, I so heard that in my head too. I don't think I don't think Jim was talking about your bottle. Okay. The fact that they won't uh, deliver to our house, yeah, I think. No. So or to the front of the, the the comment was Buford saying lame. <laughs> but what can you expect them to do? On the magnets. So I still like, I love this whole series of the uh, Jungle Cruise. The amazing, the colossal, the supinous, eight wonder of the world, the backside of water. It's O2H. Mm -hmm. You catch back up. I'm over here playing with magnets. I can't help it. I'm just attracted to them. Oh, the ear bag is gone. Did it get moved? I said, Brenda, do your stores not give you the option to get it sent to guest services at the front of the park? Um, at one point, they did do that, but they are not doing that at the moment because they don't want to have that extra contact. They don't want to have to deal with keeping up with the bags. Now, on the, on the flip side of that, used to, if you were to purchase an alcoholic bottle here in Epcot, you would have to have it sent to the front. Yeah, now they, they will give it to you. Now they give it to you, and they just make you pinky swear. You have to cross your fingers. You have to, you'll have to put your hand over your heart and cross your eyes. I promise not to drink it in the park. They seal it, but I mean. 
It's all right. We're just throwing, we're just throwing, we're just throwing references left and right at you guys today. If anybody needs to take a break, you know, let me know. So I want, I want to buy some of these. These are now buy one, get one free. Yes. And there's actually two styles. Where's the other one? Um, oh, are these all mini? These are all mini. How in the world? The mini Mickeys are gone. And I thought it would have been the opposite way around. All right, so there is a Mickey version of this as well. That has candy corn. It has candy corn on the inside. The yeah. mini version has gummy candy corn. Which is cool. Which is gummies, and I want some. But they're a buy one, get one free. They're, so they're, they come to $4, and then you do still get your 30%. So it's seven ninety nine each, which means if you buy one, get one, they're $4, and we get 30% off. So, you know, even after you eat the candy, I mean, look at the cute little... How cute would that be for like a Halloween display? Sweet fun for everyone. And it's got something else on the back of Mickey's. I wish I wish I was rich enough that I could buy like a ton of these and just give them away at trick-or-treating. We'd be like the most favorite house in the entire neighborhood. Go to that house. You don't get a candy, you don't get candy. You get an entire candy bucket. Yeah, we 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 didn't, we didn't have a lot of trick-or-treaters last year. Well, uh, Jen, uh, that's a good idea. Jen says you could put a plant in here. You could probably like a little cactus or a small little flower plant. That's a good idea. Kind of have a brown thumb. See, all the little crafty people. But otherwise, that sounds like an amazing idea. I tend to so. do plants. Good afternoon. Is it Angela on there? Good afternoon from St. Thomas. We're uh, having a little fun here at Mouse Gears at Epcot. Well, before we get into the actual World Showcase, we thought we'd look around. I'm waiting for the rest of Halloween to go on sale because some of this stuff, like this sign is really cool. My friend Morgan and I were talking about the fact that not only have they come out with extra large masks, this is not extra large, but um, the fabric is actually like a lighter fabric. It's I, not I love my stitch, but I can't breathe in it as well. Halloween mask in November, five percent off. Big, big deals. I've, you know what? I've always wanted one of these countdown calendars. I don't like this design as much as the one that was from two years ago. No. Three, three, and two years ago, I loved the design. And the only reason I haven't ever bought a countdown calendar is the stress that comes with making sure the numbers are changed every day. I don't know if that gives you an insight of to the insanity that comes through here, but. Mm. I would feel bad if I went a day without changing. That's true. Yeah. I, I would feel like a complete failure for the entire Halloween season if I let that I'm go just by. Doing a quick You're doing a mask survey. search? Survey. I don't see. I haven't seen any extra large masks so far. That is the size I recommend. Right. By the way. Yeah. Right adults here. need to have an extra large. Um, we did have a box. I'm looking. Oh, look how tiny this! Look at this! Oh my gosh, this is like an American Girl doll size. It is so small. So far, the only extra larges we've seen um, here in this park have been a couple of the goofy masks. And I don't see any extra larges today. So the ever elusive extra large, I don't see any. I don't see any extra larges right now. So. In any pattern. So. So I will, let me focus on this real quick. Disney is donating 1 million cloth face masks for children and families in underserved and vulnerable communities across the US that will be distributed by MedShare. And we have heard from different individuals who um, they their kids came home from their local elementary school with one of these Disney masks. So they are, in fact, donating them. That is, that is really cool. Yeah. And I do know for a fact, um, when it comes to Universal, um, Universal will not give you a discount, an annual pass discount on masks because they are doing the same thing. Um, they, they are... Don't, they, don't, they do not... Um, they don't discount them here either. Um, so because the money is being used to provide for charity and for other services, yes. they are not discounting the mask for that yes, reason. Exactly. So exactly. This is back over to, this is the pin we saw earlier. I'm surprised this is on the shelf. If you guys pin trade, you know good and well, you don't ever have a limited edition pin on a shelf. No. And they have so many of these left over, I guess. 
the mask, Linda, yes, don't they run small? They do run they small. Run very small. I showed you one just a second ago. It's the like a doll size. I can't wear a large. It was I had to continually stretch it. Get an extra large. It still fits me well. Yes. It's not too big. So. Ashley, I've hesitated to order any since I've seen so many issues with sizing. Have, have people have better luck with sizing now? As we said, we we just large is too small for me. I had to. That's why I don't wear my stitch mask anymore. We say extra large. Get the extra large, and you should be good. Okay. So, you get a small. Uh, you can put it on your uh, Chihuahua, or your 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 uh, small dog. Two-year-old. I don't they know. Even small. your two-year-old is like, Mom, this is so small. Yeah. So. And, and like we just talked about, I like the newer designs better. So if you can grab one of those new ones, the Mansion, the Halloween-themed ones that have just come out more recently, the fabric is lighter. So it's still two layers, but they're not... They're more breathable. The type of fabric that they've chosen is more breathable. They would, the ones before were 100% cotton, which you would think would be breathable. But if you think about like dry wet shirts, they're not made out of cotton. So. I say put it on your Chihuahua just because I like to say Chihuahua. <laughs> Chihuahua. The Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Isn't, we're looking for plush, right? Yes, we're looking for a plush. We're looking for a Chihuahua. Chihuahua plush. No, we're not looking for a Chihuahua plush. Liberty still wants one of these. She wanted a Pepita the other day so badly. She loves her plush. Wait. All right. Speaking of Chihuahua, I got I just gotta say this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make it known. You guys remember Beverly Hills Chihuahua? It was a Disney movie. That was probably one of the worst things that Disney ever did as far as promoting and marketing for a movie was when Beverly Hills Chihuahua came out, they had this trailer with all these Chihuahuas running around and singing to the song and doing this dance number that when the movie came out, the dance number was not even in the movie. You guys remember that? That was so wrong. And I just have to say that for the record, that you know, if you bring me into the theater off of dancing, singing Chihuahuas, it better be in the movie. I do not see the exact one you are looking so, for. I just had to get that out, that ran over. To me though. You got lady, lady, and scamp, and Bambi. Yeah, we've got. We're looking for a specific flower. new Disney baby. We've got got the here. bolt. Is there a bolt? Oh, look uh, a bolt. Yes, There's bolt. bolt. No, it's not here. Nope, I don't see it. Wow, so sad. We'll have to look. Maybe next time we get the world of Disney. There's a Pluto, there's a Pua, there's a Tigger. A Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Oh, look, there's a Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> How adorable. He's so very sweet. <laughs> still, baby Dumbo is cute because he still has, he still has the big ears. ears. So Linda wants to know what, oh my gosh, look at those ears. That's awesome. He looks like me, big ears and a small, big old head and a small hat. Linda wants to know which one we're looking for. We are looking for um, Todd. Todd uh, from The Fox and the Hound uh, was reported as having come out um, earlier this weekend. And Loki will trade brother for candy. <laughs> so we were hoping. Uh, I didn't expect that we would find him here because, you know, this is not the prime location for babies. But Pusan. <laughs> it's Pusan. But no, we were looking for uh, Todd from um, uh, the uh, Fox and the Hound. There's Copper and there's Todd. And you're my best friend too, Todd. But uh, it is... Um, not here. We will keep looking. Oh, it's it's a child jersey for Nova. I know. We, normally, our dog doesn't get a. Look at that extra large. There we go. Would she appreciate a child jersey? I know. I would appreciate her in one. There's it's also it's the bounty. It's a it's a spirit jersey for your dog. Yeah. 
if has short sleeves. Why can't we get a short sleeve? Yeah, why can't we get short sleeve spirit jerseys for us Floridians? Out. So look, the look, you see that? Yep. There's your shirt. There's your dog shirt. Yeah. It must say the bounty on your the shirt. Does it say that? Because that's what's. Yep. Look at that. Oh, How cute that would be. Seriously. Your dog would look so awesome, and you would be dehydrated and, and panting for air. I don't know. We should be more acclimated to the weather now. In the winter time. You could be. You could be puppy twinsies. Yeah. That's right. So, hey, Steve, thanks for jumping in, bud. Catch you again later. There, right. I've seen those pants before. Huh. Where have we seen that? Ashley says she just ordered a short sleeve spirit jersey in the Rainbow Collection. Oh. I didn't even know they had short sleeve spirit jerseys. That's the only reason why we don't tend to get spirit jerseys because they're a little heavy and they're long sleeve. And could wear them like three days ago. Yeah, we could wear them uh, March 5th or, or December 15th after 7 p.m. I wore these at Hollywood Studios the other day, which interestingly enough, did not see I got like three different people stop us while we were walking about. I thought we saw them at Keystone. Oh, wait, we did. Just not in your size. Not in my size. But Keystone had just opened up. Yeah. So. So Brennan wants to know, the question is, does it have pockets? The leggings, no, they don't. That's my one complaint about the leggings. They don't have pockets. They yeah. do not. Ribbit. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a child stuff. Look how much more child stuff they have than oh, NBA stuff. More. There's like whole rows of them. So much more. And of course the child ears. I don't like they, I don't know what. What do you guys think? Do you, they look too plushy. I think that's my concern. Yeah. Would they be hot because they're plushy? No, it's not that. They just look odd. Everyone I've seen them. It almost would look like the, it was like from behind the child is eating your head. No judgment if you like them. That's cool. I that's, just, you know. It, not my thing. Brandon says it kind of looks like a donut. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, we came in. We came in to see if we could find the one plush and we, we we struck out on that one but okay so it's like a spirit jersey it even has the on the back but it's furry it's like this it is furry soft and sparkly like it's you definitely squishy. couldn't wear this and I shall call him squishy and he shall be my squishy sorry Tom I've not seen this They should, they, they should make this in a blue pattern. It'd be like Sully. $54.99. Get three of them. They should have a, 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 a Sully one for that from Monsters, Inc. Yes, Liberty wants, Liberty wants to wear some leggings with Susan, but they don't make them for children. They're a little different. She wants, she wants to be like the adults, and I get that. She's going to be a teenager here soon. I wish they made kid sizes in the same patterns. That would be awesome. Disney, we have tons of amazing ideas for you today. Just tons. Look at the cool trivet. Oh, I like that one. It's cute. It's a very happy trivet. A very heavy trivet. Yeah. It's a very broken trivet. Yours is broken. Oh. It's broken. Mine's broken. Mine's broken. It is. It's broken. I like yeah. the black. Brenna says they should do mommy and me sizes for the yeah. leggings. How I, that would they would sell so many of those. So yeah, um, Colin, the uh, tote that was twenty five dollars, they did have it on sale for um, like twenty, which is what Susan bought it for, and then they're having it on sale now for twelve. You don't even have to. It's like with any purchase at all. If you can dream it, you can do it. I dream, I dreamed that one of these days that that not only could we be travel agents and help our clients and have fun doing it, but we could have live streams with our with our friends in the parks, and we're doing it. 
thank you guys so much for helping us start getting our dreams to have to, to come true. So we appreciate it so much for the support. Thank you guys. Can anybody else collect these ornaments? The little I've tiny, the little tiny mugs. Lately. Yes, I think they would add on well to my kitchen tree. I would so just put coffee in this. A little tiny espresso. Oh, I would. No, no, no. We're just regular coffee. I just walk around and just wait for somebody to say something. Can I get a refill? That's us go. It's cute though. They're super cute. And they have one for every park. And they do All a new the design. Parks. And they're the year. exact same design as the larger counterpart. Yes, they match. Them. And they do a new one every year. So you could, you know, potentially have a Starbucks tree and just decorate it. Yeah, with these are for people unlike us who don't have dogs and cats who look who at these things, things on the trees and go, oh, look how far I can bat this off. So they have a home mug version and then they have this travel mug version uh, Brent, every year. Brennan says that those are for the mugs for the children who like to have coffee like they're, oh, they're older so they can so have a little cute. coffee a mommy little bit and mommy and me coffee that would be that would be cute that would be adorable mommy and me like before mommy I can and me coffee. Uh, mommy before I can start algebra today I need my coffee I need my caffeine your middle child would actually say that yes my middle child would say that I can see making my middle child into a caffeine addict really easily. See, I think it would be cool to have some of these. Because yeah. these are the plates you go around for the World, the, uh, world Showcase. Yeah. When you're, when you're yeah. eating, yeah. it's a little plate holder for your food. And then you put your, your drink there. And these are only sold the pass holders. These are the ones that are, that are wood. Eight. I think the plastic ones are eight. Yeah, so for four dollars more, and these would be like if you got a collection of these, these would be cool like at a party. party. We might we might actually have successful parties and stuff if we like cook food from the food and wine festival and then gave everybody that came in the door one of these. Yeah. And then if we ran out of these, everybody else would have to eat off the top of the trash cans. <laughs> we just like eating at Epcot. So. All right, so we're gonna make our way out of Mouse Gear this afternoon. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing some of the merchandise. Hope we covered everything. We will keep our eyes open for a Todd the Fox. And as soon as we have that, we didn't find him today, we will find him. You too, thank you. Uh, we will find Todd the Fox and we will share him on our Instagram or Facebook page when we do. If you guys haven't followed us on Instagram, do so wherever ear to ear magic and uh we try to post on well we post on a regular basis yeah. matter of fact i get yelled at on instagram and facebook because i post too often and i've often been told uh oftentimes that you know if you want more followers and if you want better engagement you shouldn't post as often and i think well there's so much i want to post and there's so much information i want to share that lots of times i hold back on a lot of the stuff i have just because i don't want to inundate everybody with so many posts so I gotta find that fine line of sharing some really cool images, really cool information with you guys who are coming to do visit, visit Disney vacations. So finding that, that fine line of getting yelled at for posting too often, but still giving you guys information. So I, I hope that uh, we can continue to provide a little bit of good balance of both. So, oh, my glasses are fogged up. Are we walking by the 220 restaurant? Did you say something about that? While we're here, or do we want to move on to I can't see. You can't see? He can't, can't see. I can't see. I can't see. My glasses have to come. Come Contacts are our friends, people. Are you facing forward? Contacts are our friends. Nope. Uh, I can't see. There we go. Much better of, view. It will take a couple of seconds for my glasses to realize that we're back outside. We're heading this way and there's no line. I'm going to stop and grab some ice water to into my water bottle. Okay. So this is a concept drawing of what we're gonna be looking at for the play pavilion when it becomes available here in Epcot. That's what we looked at before, the wonders of life. And around, as you can notice in the concept drawing, there are characters like our princess there. There's Olaf, if you guys can see anymore. There's Joy up there with a Disney emoji. See if we can find any more. I can see a little bit of, I see a Buzz Lightyear there being held in the toy. There's a Mickey Mouse plush being held there. 
Look, it's Penelope Von Sweet. Who else can we find? Looks like we got a little princess dressed up over there. Uh, looks like there's a dance station there, a cinema. So I'm very curious to see what kind of all kinds of place, places they're going to have inside the play pavilion. But who knows? I mean, it also says hotel over here. So I doubt very seriously they're going to have a hotel. So what part of it's just concept and what part of it's actuality? We'll have to wait and see. It is blue skies today. Very nice. So this is gonna go grab a ice water. I'm gonna take you guys over and let's see what the wait time is for Mission Space. I doubt very seriously we would be able to maintain a signal in order to ride the ride, but it wouldn't be very fun. It was basically you just guys looking at the screen, me trying to give you an idea what it's like as we're having our cheeks pushed to the back of our skull. But right now, looks like it is a 10 minute wait for Earth Green Mission and a 25 minute wait for Orange Mars Mission. I have my preference. I like orange. I prefer orange, but I know orange is not for everyone. So. Glad we got fall weather. It's cooled off a bit, but still a little on the warm side. Filling up the, it's a 10 minute wait right now for green, 25 for orange. Susan is much more of a green person. It would be green. I'm much more of an orange person. I don't know about you guys. Good to have a little bit of hydration just in case. Fresh water. Over here, I'll take a sip in isolation as I stand holding my drink. So, right here, you're looking at the wall here. That's part of Space 220. A new restaurant that was supposed to open first quarter of 2020. Yep. Of course, it got delayed. It already had delays even before. Related. All right, so now that you've got that, let me hand this to you. Keep us on the on the check. All right, so let's flip back here because um, we were kind of in the uh, brightness, so couldn't see some of the comments. Give me a second here. Woo. Test track is running. Get something in the fast lane. We'll check by and see what the wait time is for that in just a second. All right, so I'm going to skip back here. I want to get some of the comments. Uh, do you guys like orange or green? Uh, Brenna, like uh, like I said, uh, I'm very much an orange person. Susan is I is much more of a I'll see you in the gift shop kind of a person. I am. So, Love and Diz World, do they have the walls down for Space 220? It is still up. We we're hoping to see if something had changed on this side, but not really. Um, but you can actually see the building itself right there. The dark green is the restaurant that was built on the same side there. Just in between Mission Space and Test Track. So, I like, Andrew, I like Mission Space as well. I really like it with the kids. The kids really enjoy it. And the fact is, is it holds four. Susan doesn't generally ride, so it's a great ride for us as a family. And uh, they, of course, love the orange. Um... Haunted Mansion doesn't, you know, don't ride it anymore. It's not for everybody. I know that. That's for, I mean, when it first opened up. I mean, let's just make it make it clear. The reason they have a green in the first place 
is because the ride did have some major issues. The first two years that the ride existed, they did have some incidents. So there's a necessity as to why they had to create the green in the first place. So, um, Yeah, you don't like simulators. So she doesn't care for mission space. She doesn't stare for Star Tours, things like that. Yeah, you love Soren and you love Light of Passage. Yeah, Brenda was asking if you like Soren. No, no, she loves Soren. Love she loves Flight of Passage. Love Flight of Passage. But, you know, I think it's the it's the smell of oranges and the smell of dirt. It just, you know, makes Soren what it is. I don't know. Like Universal, there's a lot of rides. Yeah. <laughs> no start towards Jen says. No. So, here's the question, guys. Um, would you guys be willing? Let's go see what the wait time is. You guys want to um, see if we can do a, a test track? I'm willing to give it a try if you want to. Shall we give it a try? Do we know what the wait time is? Let's go find out. Let's, let's check the wait time. Loving this world. Oh my gosh, thank you for the super chat, bud. So, love, love being able to be a part of the Disney community overall, and I love sharing it with you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you guys take a look and check out Loving This World. They have a great family channel like ours, and I love the fact that we as family channels with Disney can, can share and support that. 50? 50. Like five zero? Yes. Like Which means it's probably zero. around 30. Yes. Can we try it? Sure. Let's give it a try. Hey, let's do it this way. How about this? Hey, we'll have to go to the end. So, loving this, uh, loving this world. Thank you guys so much for the super chat. For supporting us and just being a, being a part of everything we can. Yes, and Whew, sorry, the fan were really strong there. So we're gonna go see. Walk out of the shade. We gotta walk around this side to get in here. There is the line. There's the end of the line. Test track line starts here. How you doing this afternoon? Alright, so what's our official time? Do we have an official timekeeper this afternoon? Who's gonna help us out? Boom, time, 3.57. Now they do have like, they do have like in other uh, queues here lately, we saw a lot in the Magic Kingdom. They've extended the queues. So you can see the queue out here has been extended off to the side. Pretty long. Wow. Wow, did you guys hear that? Verbally stated. So it sounds as though they've changed the um, the script for the rides as well. Not only do they have the signs, which we saw earlier, if you guys hadn't seen it, but they just told us as a reminder that you have to keep your mask on, and that those who don't wear their mask correctly will be asked to leave. So they verbalized it as well. And that's the first time we've heard it in a verbal situation. Um, but as we talked about, the majority of everyone here knows the rules. They come in knowing and following the rules. And uh, I don't think that that's anything um, that's going to cause really any problems. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what's going on. Stepping up the mask game, you got it right. So I'm going to show you guys the line here. We're actually, they've, they've extended a temporary queue. Sort of like what they did over in the Magic Kingdom with um, uh, the Peter Pan. What they've extended the queue over for Haunted Mansion. 
Get in. Get in. We're not on a line. We're kind of in the middle. There should be a line right here. But there isn't. But we're going to pretend there is one. We're like 12 foot away from everybody. So they've added, uh, they've added uh, temporary queues or extended queues so that um, the lines can get longer. That is really what's going to come down to it. If if we get to the we point, we will talk about expanding um, capacity levels, a lot more people in. If they continue to have to provide this six foot physical distance, then they are going to run out of space eventually without virtual queues. So if you don't have virtual queues or if you don't have fast passes, they're going to have to make the lines longer. So, oh no, we dropped glasses. glasses. We broke glasses. Oh no, that's okay. I lost my sunglasses on the way in the Epcot today. <laughs> I had them tucked into my shirt right here. He stopped for a. Uh, he, he just hangs them loose. I do, well, I don't. They don't have anything to hang on to because they're just the buns. And I just kind of tuck them into my shirt right there, and then they they fell off. So I I've lost like pairs of those since January. Just why I generally don't wear sunglasses because I can't keep a hold of them. I always lose them. They're gonna pop back in. They're gonna pop back in. All right. Thirteen dollars. That's why you could fix them. If they were two hundred dollars, they'd be gone. Yeah. That's the way it works out. So yeah, Brandon, the, the, the lens just popped out, so we're good. Like we said, they were cheaper glasses, which means they're fixable. <laughs> So it will be, the line continually seems to move. And just think, every time a car goes by, that's another group going by as well. This is just like, say, Rise of the Resistance, one group per car. Yes, every time a car goes by, they will not put two parties in the same car. So it does slow things down even more. So you've got two things to think about. One, um, you've got a situation where they may not be loading every single row in a ride vehicle. And second, uh, because of the fact of distancing within the ride, um, they won't put people together. So not only are you having distance lines, but you also have to take into consideration that you know if, if two people walk in, like ourselves, we're gonna take up an entire car. And the expectation is nobody else is gonna be in the car with us. If you ride by yourself, there is no, there is no single rider lines at this point, but if you ride by yourself, you take up the entire car. So that greatly affects the throughput of how many guests can come in. Um, and it's just a matter of time until something is, is gonna have to shift one way or the other as far as park capacity and whether or not they're gonna be able to do things. Now over at Universal, they are starting on some attractions to start to put more than one party in certain vehicles um, with some distance still. But there was a time, like for instance, over at Hulk, um, out of the, what, 10 rows in Hulk, they were sometimes only loading three of the rows, um, which was strange because me personally, I felt somewhat, I felt perfectly safe if the person in the, in the row behind me, I mean, they're not right behind each other. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're still far. distanced pretty well, but I guess by CDC rules, they weren't exactly, they weren't exactly six feet exactly. But you know, they're five and a half feet, we got mask on and we're screaming our heads off as we're running through. I'm, I think there will be a time as we feel safer that they're going to probably be able to start putting more people in each row and that should help the lines as well. We've almost made it inside. What's that? So what's our wait time right now? We've, we've been in what, five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, you need you need you need to prepare your kids for the 
the, the possibility. Because, yeah. um, for instance, um, our middle, our middle kid, I don't think he really. He's so competitive. All he cares about is the designing He's of the car. A score that's better than he doesn't care about the ride at all. I mean, he enjoys the ride, but since they've taken out the customization of the vehicles, every time we ride it, all he talks about is the fact that how much more fun it would have been if he could have designed the yes. car. Yes. So. so definitely want to prepare for that. All right, Jen says we're at eight minutes so far. I want to sit in that car. I wonder how fast I could go in that one. So he did bring up a he did bring up a good point though. Uh, Caleb Caleb said that they should really add the customization to Disney Play. That would be fun. If they, you could still do it. You could still if you got into the Disney Play app, you could still design your own vehicle, and you wouldn't have to worry about not being able to do that. Oh yeah, like if you're in line for 30 minutes, you could still spend, you know, because you only get what three minutes. I agree, Skipper Bob. It is. It is part of the draw of this. But you know, you only get three minutes to design a car when you're in the in the in the queue. But if you had a Disney Play app, you could spend the entire 20, 25 minutes designing the car just like you want it. I bet we could get some pretty high scores. Because I think our, our boys are really competitive about getting the highest score. Which, in the end, again, produces some pretty ugly vehicles. The only exception is if you are actively eating or drinking while standing still. This means that you must not be walking in order to eat or drink. Once again, you must be standing still in order to eat or drink. We thank you for your continued patience and cooperation and helping us protect the magic. Please enjoy the rest of your day here at Epcot. It's interesting because we've never, not only have we ever, never heard it spoken this way before, but obviously they're talking to someone in the line. Like the third time that we've heard it. Yeah, it is the third time. Oh, so, so loving this world. I got a question. When your family comes, do you uh, do you guys make a car as a as a family, or do you guys split up and make two vehicles? We normally wind up with three. We tend to make three. Each of the boys wants to make their own, and usually, sometimes our daughter wants to make her own. So, as adults, we just have to split up with the kids in such a way that each kid gets to design their own. All right, so they, they do it as a family, so you guys all kind of put it together. Less competitive and more of a, uh, a think tank, so yes, to speak. Yes. <laughs> all have yes, yes, I, I agree. When it comes to it, it's like there was a point in our lives where we were making the cars and our kids were like, Dad, stop, stop, Dad. No, 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 I don't want that, Dad. No, I don't want that. I want this color. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm slowly losing my... Uh, my uh, my percentage of, of of helping and now I'm just kind of watching the time. I'm a timekeeper. All right, you got 30 seconds left. Hurry up, kids. So. We couldn't put it together though. Like Liberty wants it to be pretty. Yes. That Caleb was... wants it to have high high points. And he will play just endlessly with all the different add-ons to try to get that. Skipper Bob says they're gonna have a just wait, they'll have an automated announcement by the end of the week. I'm sure they will. Their, 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 their official voice is probably in the recording studios right now. Oh, look, there's a hole in the wall. Please do not touch. So, yeah, I, you know, I, it really is, I'm surprised that they haven't come up with, even like Chevrolet. Chevrolet is probably should really push for them to add a, 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 a addition to the play app so that people can design cars in this. Am I the only person that doesn't even think about touching their glasses and play with that thing? Like, on there that says not to touch that, that's, that's so funny. You know why? Love and Dismal just said exactly the same thing. Like, yeah, if they didn't put a sticker on it, I'd have no desire to touch it at all. Now, now that they called it out, now that they called it out, it's like the only thing you want to do. You are not tired. Your nose does not itch. Any small idea that you might have. 
things grow out of that, always, always. You just have to do and try not to fit into this box that people consider good. It doesn't even matter. If you do it because you enjoy it, and that's, I think, what, what makes you feel good. You have to feel good that you're just producing. You have to love what you do. And, and All right. That's what makes great so, question. If they're redoing the automated message in Epcot, in Epcot specifically, if they're redoing the voiceover to tell you that you have to wear your mask, you have, or you'll be asked to leave, which Disney character or personality would you most like to hear that voice be? Yes, there is a British voice over in the Magic Kingdom now. But <laughs> Somebody says Donald Duck. <laughs> you imagine Donald doing the voiceover. Uh, Donald told you not to put it on. What did he say? Uh, Skipper Bob says Dr. Facilier. Uh, <laughs> you know what? If you don't, if you don't wear your mask, you're gonna join my friends on the other side of the gate. Of the gate. <laughs> Mary Poppins, there we go. Oh, yeah. Be practically perfect in every way. Well, that's what Susan was just saying over in the Magic Kingdom. They have actually added a voiceover that's got a British accent. Yes, British woman. Because, you know, the British are proper, uh, very proper, and they're so polite. Just, You're just like, oh, well, you know. I don't mind listening to it. He just told me where, to, you know, where I could put my mask, and I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. Or somebody else said, uh, many, oh, many would, you know, many would be sweet. I know on my phone, like, you can choose, did you guys know that you can choose the voice for Siri? Because I had an iPhone for years before I realized that was awesome. And I have switched it to, uh, uh, Australian voice and Australian accent. Yeah. And I can say that I like it better. Yeah, you've had, you, had, you changed my phone over to, uh, was it Australian or British? Australian. I, well, I can't, I can't even do it. Yeah, well. I'm sitting there and I turn on the Siri and they're like, hello, how can I help you today? And I'm like, what? Would you like me to look that up on Google? It's not so robotic. First of all, that's not I can't do Australian. <laughs> Ariel, the ghost host would be good. And we have come out design studio and we're going back in another we're heading back out yeah now you're like you're getting somewhere but you're not No, not not School Island. And you just thought you were getting closer. That's the idea of cues, though. The idea of cues is to keep you you think you're getting there and not to get you impatient. Oh. 
Jen says the three caballeros would be good. That would be entertaining. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. Donald would talk, and then Jose would go, I don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Can we actually move up to this line here? Okay. So, we're out of line. So, I, if we, I know, but if we were at Universal, I, I, I can imagine it would be like, who, who would it be at Universal? Um, I, I know who it would be. Terrible. It would be a terrible attempt at a voice. Um, let's see if I can do it. Um, okay, you must put on your mask or we will ask you to leave the park. Groot. They could do Gru. I think Gru would work. Or, you know, because they've got Shrek, you know, they could do my buddy. Yeah. You know, my favorite, my fav my favorite guy over at Universal. Now, they didn't told you to put on a mask, and if you ain't gonna wear that mask, they're gonna ask you to leave the park. So, you better put that mask on, so come on in here. Ask for this. You know, then we could, that would work. I think that would be yes. fun. Yes. In the Harry Potter areas, they could have. Um, oh, Hagrid. Hagrid would be good. Hagrid. Now, I can't do Hagrid's voice at all, but I could just see Hagrid going, you know, if you don't put on a mask, we're gonna kick you out of the park. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have said that. Oh yeah, Jimmy Fallon would do it, but he wouldn't be able to do it without laughing. <laughs> oh no, no, that would not work. She scares me. Oh my, you talking about Professor Umbridge? <laughs> you must have your mask on at all times, but we're going to kick you out of the park. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, I hate that, the ministry. I blasted its screwed. Yes, Bridge would be just, just a terror. She would be, yeah. I would like, somebody said Dobby. Dobby would be cute, though. Yeah. Oh. Dobby wants you to wear your mask. <laughs> then you're like, okay, I'm going to wear it because I love Dobby. It's so stiff. Wear your mask or I shall hit my head against, <laughs> hit my head against the filing cabinet. <laughs> Don't make Dobby hit his head on a mask. Fred and George. Creature. <laughs> Creature, boy, Creature would just be mad. He would just tell him. Creature would just tell him where they could go even if they wore the mask right. Creature would just tell him to leave anyway. Ejected from the park, you will be. Yoda, Yoda in Star Wars. Oh, Ma Maggie Smith. I would love. To, I would love to listen to that if Maggie Smith was doing it. Um, that would be one voice. You know, there's just certain voices that you don't care what they're telling you. You're okay with it. Just because of the way that their voices are done. Yeah. They have that soothe, calming. Even when she's yelling at you. Yeah. Okay, so far. What's our time? The way to the <laughs> we'll feed you to the raptors. <laughs> we'll give you the blue. This is a blue warning. That would work. Are you threatening me? <laughs> some. I need some TP for my face mask. Exactly. <laughs> no. I don't know if they can get away with that. No, I don't think so. Probably the blue warning. Good. We'll send you to the churro stand. Oh, man. We are at 20 minutes, Jen says. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. That would be a good one. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. Yeah. You, 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 have, you have to wear the mask because, uh, I mean, that's just what you do. If not, it would be um, chaos. <laughs> complete, complete chaos. Yeah, I don't. Oh, Sam. I'm just listening to these. I'm cracking up. I wish. Can you imagine? I would, if I was a famous celebrity doing one of these. Uh, characters, I would be bending over backwards to do a voiceover for the parks like that. Someone suggested for Hollywood Studios Samuel Jackson, but I don't know if that would work too well. <laughs> I think he'd I think he'd tell you something else you could do if you didn't want to wear your mask. He probably I don't think it would be family friendly. I think he'd tell you exactly what you could do with your face mask. Um, but as Frozone, that would be pretty good. 
Olaf would give you warm hugs. But that would be good as for zone. I think that would be pretty good. Especially if that, especially if he yelled at his, got yelled at by his wife in the middle of the announcement. I'm telling them. <laughs> Oh, oh, from Open. Yoo Hoo! Yes. Wearing a mask. It's for the family. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wears a mask. Oh, you have to leave the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> big mask, big summer fast mask blowout. <laughs> Even in the sauna. Yes. Oaken. Okay. That's true. Ashley says uh, Sam, uh, Samuel L. Jackson has been able to manage to stay PG in Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel franchises. This is true. He's able to contain himself. It's just whether or not he wants to be contained or not. I think we're safe to be. I think that Captain America. Yes. The ca you know, like he does in the movies. Yes, we the public service, like little to the Chris school. Evans doing the, if you want to be courageous, you're going to wear your face mask. I mean, cheesy as all get out. That'd that be, awesome. be awesome. They could do like Billboard. Post it all over. That would be perfect in Hollywood Studios. A Captain America with his face mask. I probably wear my face mask. You know? <laughs> You're like, I want to be like Captain America. I'm going to wear my mask. That would be pretty cool. Be Patriotic, a like Captain And for good, watch your language. Whoa, all of a sudden, we're moving. What happened? Boom, boom, boom. Whoa! Boom, boom, boom. That was quick. All right. I'm going to sanitize again before we get on the car. Because I don't have enough layers on me as it is. I don't know. You got lots of layers. I got lots of layers. Many layers. I got lots of layers. Like an onion. 25 minutes. That's not bad. No. Mind you, we're not on the ride yet. We're not on the ride yet, but we're very close. Definitely like an onion. Nice. And this is something that we, you know, you I don't even like onions. Onions. Was... I don't know onions. I don't even like onions. I like, I like sweet things. I don't like an onion. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We were talking about onions, and I just, I don't like onions. If you cook them, maybe. I mean, if you cook an onion, then it's a sweet onion. Like a Vidalia onion. Now, I like those Vidalia onions. Vidalia onions, they're okay. About half ish. So don't freak out nope. if you see a 50 minute. I tried. It didn't work. So you can see most of the cars are filled with, you know, that one's a fully utilized car right there. That's awesome. But that one has one, one person in it. So, yep. 26 minutes, not bad, not bad. Woo. All right. Woo. Ah, shoulder strap. So if you've never ridden this before, the middle seat does not have a shoulder strap. Woo. All right, make sure everybody smiles for our picture for the ride so we can post it later. That's right. And share with you guys. I'm gonna tighten up my grip, making sure we don't have a camera go flying. Do me a favor, if the camera goes flying, you guys keep watching the live stream and give it a thumbs up. I'll watch it again later too, because I want to see what that live stream looks like. And if we do happen to lose you on the live stream, hold tight, we will be back. Seat belt check. Linda, is this your first time riding test track? All right, Linda, put on your seat belt. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads.
Oh yes, when we get back up, I'm gonna tell you the, the really cool family story of Test Track. Yeah. Uh, actually, they do not have a single rider line because everybody is a single rider at this point. All the single riders, all the single riders. about five minutes. The test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles can do when it comes to their efficiency. If you actually designed a card that would give you your score at that point. We almost went as fast as we do on the I-4. That's right. All right, so this is where if you had designed your car, they would give you your final results. It blew my hair off. My hair look okay. Now, normally they don't want you to take pictures of the screen, but we already have our pictures. So uh, we're gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like. That's us right there. You can scan it just in case. So yeah, I don't think the ride is 100% friendly live streaming, but I still think it's not bad. Just a short little bit. Now, Linda, let me, for those before, 
uh, this particular area right here is where you could come in and scan your band where they would uh, keep the information about your designed vehicle at the beginning of the queue. And they will bring your final score up. And as everyone's getting off, everybody's scanning. And it they pops up your vehicle. Everyone. And everybody can compare their vehicles to see who has the highest score average across the four counterparts. And that's where the competition comes in the They also want to have the best vehicle. So they like to stand here and watch and see how their vehicles stack up against everybody else's. Chevrolet has. Hello, good afternoon, Joe. So, I don't know if we're still spinning or not. We're not. We're back on. We're on? We're yeah. good? Yes, this is like a photo pass situation. You could go over there and scan that, go stand by or in front of the vehicle, and they would take a picture and then send it to your uh, account so that you'd have a picture with the vehicle with a certain background. So we're having a little bit of signal loss in here, so we're going to head on out. Yes, exactly, Jen. This is the area where you'll be taking pictures with the vehicles afterwards. The vehicle, uh, this attraction wasn't always sponsored by Chevrolet, but we'll get back outside where we can get some more four signal. And that's where we just were. That's where it was. On that track right there. All right, are we still spinning? No, no. no we're good? A little bit. I think we got a little bit of spin here. Hopefully, I'm still spinning on my side. Hopefully, you guys can still see. But I want to show you guys the line here that we were in is now completely empty. So they're going straight in. Where probably the first five minutes we were waiting before is now back down. So. And as we mentioned, the lines. Jen says she loves the manatees, and that's probably where she was at the previous trip. Right now, the manatees are Little Joe, and uh, what's the, uh, I remember the other name of the uh, other manatee. Um, uh, I always, always forget him. Lou? Yeah. Is it Lou? Yeah, it's Lou and Little Joe. Older one. He likes to assert his dominance over Little Joe. So yes, Colin, this is the cool wash. It has reopened. Uh, that is where you can go in and get yourself a nice uh, cool freeze. You can yeah, also make some great, some uh, great creations where you can create your own. Yep. So they've got all kinds of different ways you can customize it and make it the uh, exact way you'd like it. Now I've still got a spin on my side. It looks like we're still okay. Yeah, we're okay. You know, Skipper Bob, I think if we make it over, I think today might be a tipsy, uh, a tipsy, I think the, the official name is Tipsy Ducks in Love. Might actually try that out today just, just for you, man. Because I, I, I hate that we didn't get to try that last time. Yeah. We are going to make our way over to the China Pavilion and have a little fun over there. Yes, that is the plan. Because, uh, I mean, not, not for me personally or anything, but Andrew really wants to see if that katana umbrella is still there. And I, I hate to disappoint him. I don't want to disappoint Andrew. I gotta, I gotta take care of my family here. So, you can always hear the cars running by. You always know when it's running because you can always hear it. Yeah. Um, somebody else was just coming in the fact that, you know, this, this is an outdoor attraction. So if it's heavy rain, they will shut it down because I mean, we we're talking about a vehicle running really fast on a track. Um, also, if there's any thunder in the area, this one goes down immediately as well. So it's probably the first attraction in place of in any inclement weather. That's the one that's going to go down. So that's why I'm excited about the Tron Power Cycle Run. 
it's going to have that canopy on the outside. So even if it's raining, it should still be able to run. Oh, I can smell popcorn. I gotta get out of here. That smells so good. England, Portugal, 91. Good afternoon. How is the weather in Portugal today? Here it is a balmy 90 degrees. Right about 90. It's not as hottest, but it's definitely not like really cool. Saturday. The forecast high for Saturday is 77 degrees. Ooh. 77 degrees. That's like that's like freezing. Wow, get out of sweatshirt. <laughs> I don't have a sweatshirt. I got rid of all the sweatshirts. Just for the one day. Just for one day. What? Oh they have the uh, Skipper Bob says they have the cauldron popcorn bucket there. Which color was it? I didn't see. I didn't notice. We have uh we, got, we never got the purple one. I've never gotten the purple. I think the purple debuted last year and I just never got it. So Brenna, right now we are just making the transition over from the Odyssey over into the World Showcase, which means you're gonna be right there at the cusp of being at the Mexico Pavilion. So, look at all the wildflowers. We, didn't no we wouldn't normally see such overgrown wildflowers like that. It's not something customary in Epcot. The lines right now are short, and I really feel like this is worth pointing out because a lot of, like over the past weekend, people see. Well, this past weekend was, was a holiday weekend, weekend, but it's also a holiday today, though, as well. Well, but this is the day if someone's taking the long weekend that they're, they're going to be traveling, traveling back. back so, crowds have already started to line back up. I mean, this is, look at Mexico, and it's like... When we were here, when we were here last week, um, there was a line to get into the cantina that went past this other building here. The line to get into the Mexico Pavilion was really, really far off. Um, it's still a bit of a queue to get into Mexico. I think this is a new thing that they've had. But it's short. It's also very small and compact on the inside. All right, guys, I need you to hang on for just a second. I'm going to close and then reopen because I still got this spinning thing and it's driving me nuts. I'm going to see if I can get rid of it. I was going to say, on our end, it's fine. So give me just a half second. There we go. The spinning just makes me nervous. So we may make our way back over to the Mexico Pavilion. Good afternoon. How are you? Doing wonderful. Thank you. But uh, we want to make sure we make it over to uh, China and have a little bit of fun over in China first. We may come back for maybe a grand fiesta, see if we can do that. Yeah. Oh, nice breeze through here. Yeah, the waffles, the Belgian waffles. Anybody like Belgian waffles? So, I'm going to tell you, uh, let's. I'm going to try to be completely honest with you guys, which we're always going to try to be very transparent about things. A lot of people are excited about the Belgian um, waffle stand opening here at the Food and Wine Festival. We um, have a Belgian waffle maker at home, and we make waffles in it all the time. So we're like... I'm just going to play it out there. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see the excitement in a Belgian waffle it's, it's because it seems like it's something I can get readily available a lot of places. So when it comes to like getting duck confit or, you know, some of the, the, the citrus uh, crispy chicken or uh, some of the uh, really good things we had over like the Alps, the Brazilian cheese bread, not something that I generally could make myself at home. But if I can make, if I can make a Belgian waffle at home, then that's not going to be on top of my list when I get over to Epcot. So, but that's just a personal stance. But I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, waffles. You know, I get me a waffle. I'm gonna do, you get a waffle. I agree with them. If you love waffles, that's great. So we are passing the line for frozen right Yeah, let me show you the frozen ever after. And we've shared this before on stories, just so give you guys a heads up. But it is actually, it looks like it may actually be going all the way into China. Well, we're going to find out in just a second, because that's where we're going, right? Yes. Is there anything you wanted to get from the China Pavilion? 
So this is still the line I'm not sure. for Frozen. Oh, from the outdoor Yes. There's nothing I can eat here. Okay. But I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about the Mongolian beef bao bun. The bao bun, the, the crispy bao fried bun. shrimp. All right, so even though we moved into the China Pavilion, we're still looking at the line for Frozen. For Frozen, yeah. For the Norway Pavilion. Oh, so if they that, have reopened the House of Good Fortune. That one's been closed. That's good. So let's go walk the line, shall we? Let's see exactly where the end of the line is. All right, I just want you to run over. She has, she has an umbrella, you know, you gotta be very careful. Could have been a katana, could have been a... All right, so. This is the end of the line for Frozen Ever After. Does anybody know how to say Frozen in Chinese? <laughs> I you doing, take Craig? We're actually gonna go check out the House of Good Fortune, so thank you. That's a good long line there. Now, right now, Nine Dragons. I know that a lot of people like to eat at Nine Dragons. It's personally not one of our favorites, um, but you know, we have some Chinese food uh, restaurants that are nearby that we actually enjoy a lot more. So we don't wait till we come to Epcot. Um, but the... Um, that is like what all... <laughs> That's all of Russia. Yeah, how long that line is, Jen? That's a long line, all the way from Norway to, to China. That's crazy. So the Lotus Blossom Cafe is also is closed. Um, we are gonna grab something to eat later because we want to. I like every live stream to have at least something bite to eat to share with you guys. Frozen in Chinese. Oh, I say I don't know. I can't. I don't know, Skipper Bob. Are you pulling my leg here? He's got a translation for us. I would probably massacre that even if it was. So it seems very quiet back here. Yeah, you can't go into these areas here. So you have to go all the way to the end to get in. So let's head on in. We'll do a little shopping with you guys. Oh, the, uh, the film. The 360 film just The shopping area is set up to be one way in, one way out. But the film just got out that's still showing here in the China Pavilion. So probably a little bit more than would be normally. It's like rotational. Um, but we're going to do a little bit of shopping. You guys join us. If you see something cool, let us know if you want to see something more of it. If you want to see the price. Um, I wish we were personal shoppers. We aren't. We love to show you guys stuff, but we can't send anything to you. Uh, remember these from last but time. we got to show you these. Ready for squishies? They smell so good. They smell like strawberries. You know, just like in the wild when you squeeze the panda, they always smell like strawberries. So the one that I got last time we were here, when I would squeeze it, it would squeak. Like... You got the squeaky one. You got to smell that? I wish there was smell vision it Smells so good. Our dog squeaks when you squeeze her too. <laughs> she does not smell like strawberries. No, she does not. But they have all kinds of variations. So there's... Look at this. It's a ninja panda. Oh, this one smells good too. This one's a hammy. It is a hammy. <gasps> we got to get Liberty this. Okay. I'm making a purchase. Oh, it does smell good. It's a hammy don't though. Anybody tell her. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell her. Her but birthday's coming her up. Her birthday's coming up and she loves, she's got a hamster and she loves anything hammy hammies. Yeah. I think she would like that. Do you guys think? Yeah, get the one in the back. Get the less squished. 
Does this guy smell like a cheeseburger when you squeeze him? I don't think so. I want to find out. Let's see. All right, let's see. That does not smell like a hamburger. I'm glad I smelled it. Oh, look. They even have a McDonald's hamburger for the day after you order it. See? A day old McDonald's hamburger. Wonder what it smells like. Probably better than the real thing. So we got ourselves a, uh, a hammy. Oh, I see I'm nervous. I don't want to look now. I'm afraid it's all, it's gotta be gone. It's gonna be gone. Oh, see, it's so sad. It's gone. The coolest umbrella in the entire world is no longer here. Oh, see, and I snoozed it, it, it and I lose it, 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 it. Nope, my katana umbrella is gone. So sad. <laughs> Jen's like, every time I come back now, I'm gonna have to check, and you know I will. Um, it was it was on sale, and it was the last one in the in the thing, and it was on sale for eighteen dollars. So, um, but that's what happens. You last one if you don't grab it. So the cucumber chips are bad. <laughs> You guys the remember? last time we were here, they had cucumber chips, which I bought a bag of because I was intrigued. Because, you know, you see dill pickle flavor chips. These were not pickle flavor. They were cucumber flavor. And they did taste like cucumbers. Uh, the kids, well, Liberty didn't like it. So, so good afternoon, Kate. Kate was asking who Liberty is. Liberty is our daughter. She's uh, going to be turning 13 next month. Yeah, and, oh, wow. That, that looks like a cucumber. I like Pringles, but in a bag. That's cool. I wish our chips here came in bags like that. That'd be pretty cool. So Eric, good to see you, bud. We're having, uh, we're hoping we can uh, hang out with you in November too. Looking forward to it. Man, time is just flying, dude. You know, it's like it just seemed like it was just August, just the other day. Um, those are uh, Ping Du Guaba flavor. They're frying plant flavored. They're uh, they're um, um, chameleon flavored. They're Pascal flavored. They taste like uh, stainless steel. Like, uh, why is there a pan on there? <laughs> yes, they're full of iron. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an iron, it's an iron supplement. <laughs> what does Teflon taste like? I mean, thinking back in the 90s, a lot of us found out, didn't we? So. Oh, Orlando. Oh, good to see you guys. If you guys, uh, you guys could join us. I know you can't always, especially from over in the UK, but we're so glad you guys could be on this afternoon. I, I love, I love hearing you guys' perspective of things in Orlando. So if you guys want to have some uh, fun, you go check them out. Oh, Orlando over on YouTube as well. They're on Instagram. Fun couple. They were supposed to be here a couple months ago. When they come next year, uh, we're still going to hang out. So looking forward to it. Lots of tea. Why, why do they have so much tea? Lots of different kinds of tea, which is intriguing. I'm always the snacks and the candies. Like, I know. It's just, just well, it's because it's different, you know? It's not your ordinary. I mean, sometimes we see the same stuff over and over again. And so if we see something different, that's intriguing it to says us. It's fruit smoky, but really it's cantaloupe flavor. Oh, see, cantaloupe's not fruit. Cantaloupe is from the devil. I cannot, I don't like melons like that. That's just me. It's a personal this thing. And that would not be as sweet as I was anticipating. It is actually sweet. 
it? Is it? It's a sweet taco. <laughs> little facetiousness there, right, uh, Bob? <laughs> Why is there so much tea? All right, so Beast Mode wants to ask, as wants to know about this area. <clears throat> All right, so we got to share this. If you guys saw our Instagram stories a couple weeks ago, oh this, I'm gonna, it's going to be hard for me to contain myself here. All right, so this is, these are, do you have a, he's a dragon, look at that. He's a little puppy dragon. He's so cute. He's not a lizard. He don't need a tongue thing, but he is a dragon. He is fierce. Look at that. You got all kinds of puppy costumes and kitty cat costumes. I mean, look at this guy. He's a pumpkin tower. I'm not sure what that is, but several pumpkins. But they got the dragons. You can got pumpkins, starry-eyed pumpkins. Yes, clothes for dogs, costumes for dogs. We're not even talking about everyday costume or everyday wear. We're talking, you know, but. Who has a cat? Because I do not know. I have never owned a cat. That would let me put that on them. All right, Megan here. Megan, this is for your kitty cat. Like this, like uh, a coat. Like for for West Virginia kitty With cats. A hood. West Virginia kitty. Look at that. So uh, that's awesome, Eric. Thank you much, so much for the super chat, bud. Buy your daughter something nice for her birthday from Disney for me and her. Dude, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. We're, we're going we're gonna to find something nice, and we're going to make sure that, you know, when we see you in November, that she gets the chance to say thank you. We'll find something I know she's going to love. Um, sure. So thank you for the support. And uh, you guys can go check out Eric's channel over as well. We've done a couple of videos together, and hopefully we'll do another collaboration in November. We've had an awesome so, time every time we've collaborated. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it, bud. That's awesome. We'll get delivered to something nice and put your name on it for you. Not, I'm not buying everybody a kitty cat dress though. This is for a puppy dog, I think. <laughs> but still. You know, my dog, my, my dog loves me right now. I'm not so sure what she would, <laughs> but these, I mean, look at this. I mean, it's so, I, it's just adorable. But how would you wrestle your cat into that? That is the question. The question is, is what, what size gloves would I have to put on to, to survive, to protect, protect yourself when putting this on your cat? Is this, is this something that's like, a, is this a cultural thing in China that their cats get dressed up so nicely? Do they love their cats more in China? Very cute. See, we don't, we don't have one of those cats. That's she not our cat. Us. Our cat would plan our destruction if we were to try to put this on her. <laughs> Pop squad gloves. <laughs> they should sell those. They should come with the outfits. So, I mean, look at this. This is another outfit for a dog. I mean, this is like fashion right here. This dog here is looking really snazzy. Yep, <laughs> your destruction. I'll tell you, I don't think I would, I would make it. Um, hey, Susan. It's a hat. It's a princess hat for your dog. It says dog hat. Oh no, no, no. I would love to put that on Nova. I don't need to make one big enough for her. No, no. I want to put this one on her. <laughs> so a 130 pound dog. I want to put this little bitty little princess hat on. So, <laughs> but you know, Jen, you know, uh, um, Tracy. I mean, this would that would that would be so funny. No, that's not. That's just wrong. This is a dog diaper. No, it's, not. it's it's got ruffles on it. It's not. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. It's got ruffles on it. Ruff ruffles on it. Oh boy. Woo. I mean, that would be my dog would look at that and go, "Ruh woo." Rikes. It is like the Oh. Oh my gosh. This, someone took one out. I don't want to. I just don't even know. It's for, it's for their. Yep. No, wait. No, no, no. No, that's a harness. That's a harness. That's a flower harness. Oh my. That's cute. But it's Velcro. 
Yeah, it would just, they would just come right out of it. Yes, you, you beat me to it, Bespoke. Look what's above the horizon up here. Oh my gosh. Look at these tiny socks. Yeah, that maybe your dog is, you know, wanting to be in the Navy when they get older. And they have itty bitty socks. They're seven dollars. So you get I don't know with dogs, do you, is it really is it considered two pair or is it just one set? It's one set. It's one set. <laughs> All right, you explain to the doctor what happened. No, no, you bought the stuff. I don't I all right, so we bought these socks for my dog, and my dog pushed me back, and I hit my head on the toilet, and I swallowed one of the socks. So, oh, this one's got little butterflies on it. This entire this entire thing is something that I just I can't. It's I I I, I get the I get the squid potato chips before I get this, but some of these are cute. Still laughing. I'm still laughing trying to explain it to the doctor. All right, so we bought this kimono for my cat. <laughs> and the doctor goes, hang on, I'm gonna go sit down. <laughs> this is gonna be a while. <laughs> I wanna document this for the journals. So these are Peter or Lerner's Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, whew. I'm just imagining the med the medical journal. <laughs> oh, oh, the kimono the kimono dog article of August 2020, my favorite issue. <sighs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Oh, so let me just start this off with. Uh, let me just let me just explain this story. Hang on. No oh boy. All right, going on. We're about to chopsticks. Chopsticks. Chops. All right. Mm. Cheater, our starter chopsticks. And they're pandas. pandas. So when you squeeze them, do they squeak? Do they smell? Do they smell when you squeeze them? No, no. Well, pandas are supposed to smell like something when you squeeze them. However, they make the use of chopsticks much easier. So. And they are adorable. And there's several yeah. different colors too. Yep, and they have cats. They have the lucky See? cats. Those are the little, yep, the little, little lucky cats. Little cats that are the little paws. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hang on, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Hang on, I know there's got to be. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. These. I yeah, like that. That's what we got. But in a chopsticks. It's it's the Disney uh, Disney uh, charades here in the China Pavilion. So these, uh, from what I can tell, they go around, like you put one on this finger and one on this finger. Oh, I've not seen one like that before. Oh. And so it holds them at the right angle. Now I can use chopsticks, but it is a challenge for me. But I can do I've not, I've not seen I've one like this before. before. They're $3.95. Oh. Interesting. But oh, I thought they were connected, but they're separate. No, they're separate. One goes on each finger. It's like, oh my gosh, that's like uh, like Wolverine claws. They. You they, can get yourself into trouble. You would get yourself into. Oh my gosh, I need I need I need five sets of these. No. <laughs> yes, I need five sets of these. I need one, one, one for each finger, and then I could just have chopsticks. Just yeah, there we go, there we go. I have those. They're metal, right? Metal. And there's 10 of them, right? Yeah. See, there we go. That's what I need right there. Yeah, and I need one of these. I need five of these. And I'm going to put all of these on my hands. And I can just grab this rice and just eat it like that. That would be, that would be acceptable. I would be using utensils. <laughs> I'd be like Hugh Jackman. And I'm sorry, you can't take me anywhere. I get it. So. Oh, wow. Well, you have Jade. Yeah, I'm pretty good at chopsticks. I actually had to learn to use chopsticks. Um, because uh, when we moved out, to, after we got married, we moved to California. And Susan decided that she was going to teach me how to eat sushi. 
And so, and I'm glad she did. I love sushi now, but when we first started, you know, we first got married and she's like, we're gonna eat sushi and we're in California. She's taking me to all these places where, you know, they like authentic sushi places, they you know? Were good. They were they awesome. They sit down and they put all this sushi in front of me and I'm like, all right, where's the fork? Oh, no fork. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do? I can't eat it with my fingers, that's... Chopsticks. That's rude. What oh, chopsticks? Ah, I'm hungry. And back then I wasn't this, this <clears throat> endowed. I was somewhat skinny at times. Yes. I was about starving. Because they couldn't, you know, they give me these two little sticks. I'm supposed to do them. I'm watching all these people around me. And I had to learn out of necessity. But I can do it now. But when I first started, it was it was it was rough. Yes. So but it was worth but it. But I did it. And now I can eat sushi with my little chopsticks. Yes. Because if not, I would have starved in California. <laughs> I will say though, I, I there were some things that I, I saw them eat out in California that I, I at first threw me off because you know, they take a big bite and there's still tentacles hanging out their mouths and that threw me off at first. <laughs> Jen, Jen, Jen says if you eat in China and Boston, if you can't eat with chopsticks, they say American and they shake their heads in disappointment. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, I get that. I will say there are some things that's hard to eat with chopsticks. Oh, Love and Diz World, I, I, I still will do that every once in a while. If I'm in a hurry, I'll just stab it with the chopstick and go for it. It depends, you know. Americans, yeah. Okay, speaking of American stories, our honeymoon. We honeymooned in Paris. Yes. And we told you that story before. I didn't tell Susan until we were at the airport about to depart. She didn't know where we were going for our honeymoon. What do mean? Um, it was a wonderful, loving, romantic surprise. No, I couldn't plan. Ladies, would you want to pack when you didn't know where you were going? We had our friend pack her suitcase. You had everything you needed no, in there. No, I had a ton of stuff I didn't need in there. Yeah, but we put some surprise stuff in her suitcase, so like a bikini and stuff like that, so she thought maybe we were going to the islands. Well, it was better than my suitcase. Yeah, but that was not someone helping you. That was your fraternity brothers. My fraternity brothers took all of my you. underwear out of my suitcase, and I showed up in France with Tony the Tiger Novelty boxer boxers, shorts. Yeah. Thanks a lot, brothers. That was awesome. But that's not my story. My story is we're in France, and we're eating in the, uh, the, the St. James Albany um, Hotel in the, in the restaurant there and we didn't get wine. We didn't order any wine with our meals. And every time we had a meal and we didn't order wine. They were highly offended. They, yeah, the Americans, you know? And like, I, we, would, we were looked down upon because we, I think we refused wine for almost every meal. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, you gotta have wine. Which wine would you like to have? And we're like, mm, we're good, we're fine. I think we, I ordered one one time just so I wouldn't have to be looked at like, a, like an American. Yeah, I was but, like bottled water. No bubbles. <laughs> oh, yes, that was the other thing. You had bubbles or no bubbles? No bubbles. Very much, Jen. We were, we were the, the, the non-traditional Americans. Look at the, uh, the scrolls, the banners, the wall. The raw scrolls. The dragon. Is it a dragon? Oh, there is a dragon. A golden dragon. I like the pandas. They're fluffy pandas, too. Mm. Right. I could take a nap in this place. It's so calm. It is, but we only have an hour left. Oh, we're down to our last hour? Normally, we would stay with you guys later, but we do have our monthly training meeting with Travel Nation, the Austin Travel Agency. Yes, we got to meet up with some travel nation agents for some stuff this evening so we can't be too late it's more pandas i gotta squeeze no he doesn't no not squeezing now this these came out for chinese uh, lunar new year at the beginning of the year they still have some and some of them are really cool i like the uh, grand opening shanghai disney bags and some of the pins you're gonna buy the squishy do you have your uh, annual pass order annual pass that one's kind of cool I'll have to come back and get my uh, kimono some other day, I guess. 
but they do have a, uh, a large apparel selection as well, including some really cool bags. <laughs> yes, Bespoke. It is kind of funny that uh, it really is. It's just, it was so easy and inexpensive to pair the wine. Oh, I like that shirt. The, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a manly dragon right there. So they also have uh, some, some floor rugs and some pillows. And of course, something for Andrew. I don't know, Andrew, would you look better in the red or maybe the blue? I think the blue might be better. A little bit of ear-to-ear uh, -ear magic blue. But it's unfortunate that lots of times we, we don't get a chance to come back here and really enjoy and look and see everything they have here. So thank you guys for joining us today. It gives us an excuse to come over and spend some time. We got our hammy squishy. Should we go get ourselves a tipsy duck? Sure. And some bubble tea. We'll get some bubble tea and a tipsy ducks and love because I have been told about it by Skipper Bob. So as a personal recommendation, all the jade mice. It's rat. Yeah, it is kind of a rat. Lucky rats. Year of the rat. My daughter is very much the advocate for rats uh, as pets. Even though she has a hamster, she loves rats. And she'll tell you that rats are very intelligent and uh, can be very, uh, uh, very cuddly as pets. So, and they're, you know, I think I, I think I could have a rat. I think I would like a rat if you got the right one. Her hamster is a this. We got so lucky with her hamster. He is adorable. He is the best He's hamster in the world. Hamster. He is a cuddly hamster. He loves to be held. He loves to sit still. He never bites. I don't think he's ever, he's never nipped me. I think he's only nipped at uh, her maybe once or twice in the, the year that she's had him. So. He'll come, he'll climb into your hands. Oh yeah, he's very happy to have you come and get him out of the cage and he'll come and just jump in your hand. So very nice, very sweet. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the Joy of Tea. Susan's gonna grab herself a bubble tea. And I am going to grab something that comes as a recommendation from our buddy over there, Skipper Bob's Breakdowns. You guys could check out his channel as well. And what he's recommended that we try is the Tipsy Ducks in Love. It's bourbon, whiskey, coffee, black tea, cream, and chocolate syrup. It's a concoction, and I do use the word concoction intentionally that I have never heard of or seen before. I do not like Yeah, Susan's not a coffee fan. So, and egg rolls. Woo, egg rolls. Oh, there's a bourbon drink. Cantaloupe. That's any wine. Gotta be wine coming soon. Oh, it's the peach flavor too, huh? You're gonna, you're gonna use your uh, your wristband. Oh, that's right. I have a wristband. Yeah. Can I do that? Got that gift card already set up. Right, Scan and out. go. She loaded this up at the beginning of our live stream, and now she just doesn't have to pull out a card. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay, that's your receipt right there. All right, so we got a peach bubble tea and a tipsy ducks in love. 
So what makes the duck so tipsy? Alright. I'm sure it's the alcohol that's in it. Alright, Skipper Bob, this one's for you, buddy. You guys wanna take a look at this? Look at this. It looks it looks it look it looks like ducks have been swimming around in it. So this is the tipsy ducks. I have never in my life had a drink. I'm gonna stand right over here. So Skipper Bob brought this up two weeks ago and I have been dying to try it ever since. So it does look like it's got some duck water in it. And Skipper Bob, thank you for the super chat, bud. That is awesome. This one is on Skipper Bob, guys. So we're going to give you our, our review, our idea of what we think about it. Before I, I got to take a picture of this because I want to remember this later. Here, let's switch off here. I'll give you this. I'll give you that. Flip you around. Snapping a photo. Sorry, I moved. Oh, you're fine. I moved the table. How about with your uh, with your bubble tea? Right. Peach flavored, right? The tea, loosely peach flavored. Mostly, it's a milk tea. So. I want to have a sip. sweet and it's not the popping bubbles so there's different kinds of bubbles oh, but it's if you really get good, bubble though. tea you can taste yes. the beach in it yeah so i'm putting my sunglasses on because that sun is really bright are we turning this way yes but I'll step it up so you can see chris yeah i want to i want i want everyone to see my reaction as i drink this tipsy ducks here um Oh, don't stir it though. Don't stir it. You already told me not to stir it. So. What happens if you stir it? Should I drink it from the straw? Or should I drink it from the top? I want to make sure I'm doing this right because I, I was told there's very specific instructions on the best way to, to drink this. I'm looking at the ducks that are. Oh, I thought we had this up. Sorry. We did have it up. All right, so I want to see straw, then give it a good stir and straw again. All right, I want to because I know you gave me some instructions on exactly to do this. So, okay, that's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I want to do that stir now. So I think a lot of it is on the top. Oh wow, that's good. That's like a, that's like a really extravagant, really good adult, not to be taken in a bad way, completely positive, good way. That's like an adult Yoo-Hoo. Really? Is what I'm thinking of. It's got that chocolate flavor to it. Not it's, coffee? And it's got the coffee to it as well. That's good, did you want to try a little bit? Maybe a little. A little bit? How do I get a little bit? I'll just wave it under you. <laughs> Go for it. Oh no. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? No, it's coffee. Oh man, no, well, this how is... can you call that a Yoohoo? No, it's coffee. Oh man. Dude, awesome recommendation. Can't believe I never tried this before. He doesn't have to share it with me. And I don't have to share it with Susan or the kids. So I like that. So guys. Tipsy Ducks in Love over here at the Joy of Tea in China. Have a few of these. You will be seeing Mushu running around here. Talking with Mushu. Mm -hmm. If I have too many of these, I might be talking to my Mushu voice the entire time. There are a ton of... Oh, that's really here. good. I love that. That is awesome. 
So, Jen, thank you very much for the super chat as well. That's awesome. Oh, thank thank you, you guys so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like I said, all this goes to help us kind of pay for things and it keeps us. And when you guys give super chats, it gives us an awesome opportunity to try more things. Mm -hmm. And that's just something I like to do more. We can share things. So when you guys come, you can try them out. I love taking pictures of things and, and posting them up, but I really much like to try them. Especially this, man, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. I miss the tea, the bubble tea. Did you taste it? The tea is gone. You drink it until you get tipsy. I think that's kind of where. But it's not too, too strong. It has very much more of a coffee yeah. and chocolate flavor to it than anything. It's very coffee, very, more coffee than See, chocolate. I don't taste as much as the coffee. As someone who doesn't like coffee, I, I don't like that. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Linda, Linda says you drink, if, you drink a few and I'll be out there swimming with the ducks. Oh, goodness. I'll be in the, uh, be har in the harmonious show myself. So... Speaking of harmonious, let's talk about that for a second mm -hmm. because I'll share this with you guys. We are, if you guys are just joining us, welcome. We're in Epcot over here in the China Hi. Pavilion. We are enjoying our little tipsy ducks in love and our bubble tea. Thanks to uh, Jen and Skipper Bob. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and while we're here, I want to tell you right around the corner over here, behind the scenes, cast members are now working on the floats for harmonious. Mm -hmm. That is a brand new uh, Epcot fireworks show. We're talking massive floats. Now, I want to sit there real quick. I want to turn the screen around here. So there are actually new barges and new things out here on the lagoon, which will be for the new show. Yes, those are cool. Yep. But thank you for what you can do to the tips. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, this! Oh, we it's. Loved it. We had a we had a recommendation from a friend to try it today. It is really good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think it's my favorite new favorite drink to have now. Yep. So, and I don't have to share it with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you very much. Definitely. Um, we are over here behind us. They are making uh, the new floats for harmonious. So, and the nice gentleman over there. Since we were enjoying the tipsy ducks, he brought us over some egg rolls. So. Love cast members. I think they had a bunch of orders come in after us because Chris was all like, oh, check this out. <laughs> so they, we had that a lot, was a little lot thank of, you. A lot of tipsy ducks around here now. <laughs> Skipper Bob, you started a new sensation. We're in trouble now. <laughs> but they are building the new harmonious floats just over behind us. These things are massive. They're huge. And they're going to be a huge show. Now, they've also, just about, was it three, four weeks ago, they would do a testing for the new fireworks. So at there was I believe it was at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. at night. Yep. We thought it was it gonna be in the a, middle. It's not to, normally they do them in the wee hours of the morning, so that was interesting that they did it so early. Um so oh and Megan, thank you so much for the super chat. Megan says we're gonna get some Megan. cheese bread. Megan <gasps> wants to say she can't have cheese, cheese bread. bread. So we'll be make our way around, we'll grab some There's cheese bread. There's definitely lots of dairy in that. Um and that is one of the things that gluten free Susan over here loves to have that she can actually. It's true. Have. Um, one of my faves. The fact that they're actually testing the fireworks, we're taking that as a very positive thing. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome positive thing because why would they be testing fireworks if they didn't have intentions of the fireworks returning at some time in the near future? Yes. So they not only we are thought they, that was a very encouraging sign. Now that could have been a. We could be over positive. We are an over positive channel. If you guys are watching us for the first time and you've just now subscribed to us and you're watching our live streams, we are very positive in the way we do and see it and in, in, in our perspective of Disney. Yes. But, you know, the alternative, you can get that at other channels. But we want to be positive in the fact that they're testing the fireworks. We are actively seeing images of them building the harmonious mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. All good stuff. All good things. Not things we can share, but... Not things we would always share. We progress, don't share a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Progress is being made, so it's very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, that's so good. Okay, now you got to drink that and you have two egg rolls to eat because I can't eat those oh, either. that's true. That's true. Oh. And we can't eat and walk here. So, Love and Diz World says, plus they're extending the Epcot hours. Yes. Fireworks are maybe. The fact that they're still keeping open until 9 p.m., they're testing fireworks. You can't have fireworks without dark. Yep. It so is an encouraging sign. We're just trying to be overly optimistic about the fact that they're preparing for the return of fireworks sometimes here soon at Disney World. We hope that if they do so, they add some sort of um, 
idea of uh, being able to keep people apart when they watch the fireworks, mm -hmm. but it can be done. Yeah. And we saw it over at SeaWorld, yep. actually. Um, and it was awesome. And they were able to socially distance. I think if they're going to do it in any park, excuse me, the first one they're going to do is going to be here at Epcot because they have lots of area to space people out around the World Showcase to socially distance individuals. So I think the combination of a more limited crowd, yeah, you got to eat that. You got to, it's the polite thing. We can carry the other one with us, but you have to eat at least one. Are they good? I miss things like that, this guy's. Can I dip it in the tipsy duck? No, don't do that. Enjoy it. It's good. It, does, it doesn't need to be tipsy. Do you guys like egg rolls? So there's like certain like just guilty pleasure foods. It's almost like to me like a street food or a junk food kind of. It's a comfort food. Yeah. I love, I love egg rolls. I miss egg rolls. I have not always been gluten free. I had to eliminate it from my diet. I almost ordered some egg rolls while we were up there. For health reasons, so. He did, maybe then, maybe he heard that. <laughs> oh, Lander says dip it, dip it. I kind of want to dip it. This is sea urge. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Ah! Ew, that's gross. Not bad. <laughs> Now it's a so, tip. Now it's a tipsy, a tipsy duck and pork egg roll. Yo. <laughs> no, just no. Just no. Actually, it was pretty good. Was it? Yeah. I did it for Orlando. They for told you. me I had to. For you. So, just to our left um, is the Alps Outdoor Kitchen, which has the what do they call it? There's a special phrase for the cheese. They melt it with the... Ricletta? Yeah, ricletta. Is that it? And that's not like a type of cheese. It's the way they prepare it, where they melt it and then scrape it off. Yeah, yes. That's her from Magic Kingdom. Oh, now there's egg roll all floating around in the drink. Why are you surprised by that? There's not. I just tried to... <laughs> Actually, I did it. It was a it was a very clean dip. It was. It was a clean dip. Clean dip, guys. Clean dip. Trying really hard not to rattle the table. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, sip it, sip it, and dip it. So here's an interesting thing. So the ricletta, you know, it's a type of preparation with a heat element that melts it, and you scrape it off. Since we have done this, it's like my computer and my phone recognize that we came here, and now Amazon is suggesting that I might need a machine at home to do this. They make if that's like, not scary. Plug-in, like you know, you do like your little plug-in grills, indoor grills and stuff. They have plug-in ricotta machines. Is that, that the are word? I don't even know. I'm getting the word. To right. melt the cheese, like they're not cheap, but I just thought it was amusing that not only does it know that we had it, but I liked it and it's suggesting that. Of course, Amazon did also suggest that we get a dog crate that looks like you would put a velociraptor in it. So, I think the internet's scary the way they monitor us. They suggested- It was the day after we went. And it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about dinosaurs. Universal, I'm not right? saying that. Day after we went to Universal. Day after we went to Universal, Amazon suggested that she buy a dog crate that okay. looks like a velociraptor. It does. It's like metal cage. with these big reinforced bars and the side of it's kind of tilted. Clever girl. It it costs like over a thousand dollars. For a dog crate. And that's not even the largest size. Like there's a larger size that probably we would need for our dog because she's like, oh my gosh, she's coming. A little bitty today. dog for a dog crate. It was a thousand dollars just because it looked like a, a, a raptor. I mean, like cage. I would have to buy it and put so, like... So Orlando. The, I know you guys are getting ready for bed. Thanks for watching and hanging yes, out, thanks guys. Thanks for staying up so late. I can't wait to see us. that studio next week. I hope it gets ready. Exciting. You can come over to our house next and do a studio for us. Yeah, fix us up. All right, finish eating that so we can move on. And then you got to carry that around. Nope, nope. Just eat it. Don't make me smack your hand. It deserves to be dipped. 
can go get some duck sauce. Duck sauce. I got duck sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's tipsy duck sauce. Oh lord. It's duck dip. <laughs> duck dip. Let's get dangerous. You're funny. All right. Anybody else dark wing duck fans? Need this own show. Classic cartoons. Need it. We need our own dark wing duck. I know we got a little show up in you know in uh, Ducktales, but he needs his own show here. Okay, so Jim says please don't dip anymore. See, I'm not alone. But Richard says dip away. Brenda says See, ew. You got my back. Brenda says ew. She also says no more dipping, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No more Chocolate duck dipping. Chocolate and egg rolls do not go together. You put coffee in it though. Caffeine. No. Just no. Eat that last bite. But the egg rolls were provided to us by a cast member. Yes. I'll let you guys know. Before we get rolling again. Parks are great. Rides are awesome. The parks are made by the cast members. They yes, always have absolutely. been, they always will be. Our hearts are with our family and friends who are cast members who have been able to come back. Others have not. Some have been furloughed. Some have been given notices that they uh, will not be returning, mm -hmm. that they will be given severance until December. So our response to that is, and it's always going to be this way, is that our best way to help out cast members is to encourage people who can. If you're able to travel, and you're willing to travel, and you're in a spot where you can travel, come back. Yes. It's safe. We've been coming back to the parks now for three and a half months. You can see from our live streams, you can still have a great time. You can still do what you need to do to be safe. So the best way you can help cast members, come back to Disney World, come back to Universal, come back and have some fun. When everyone starts coming back, we can start bringing our cast members back, and cast member friends back as well. So, yes. so. To all of our uh, cast member friends out there, you know, today we're using the hashtag long live your magic. You guys are the magic and you always will be. So thank you so much for everything you do. We can't wait until all the cast members can come back. So thank you guys. Yes. All right. So I had to get serious for a minute there. Sorry to get all heavy right. on you, but we love our cast members. Yeah. All right. I'm going to flip you around because there's way more interesting things to look at than me. Chris is, Chris is chugging the tipsy duck. Ooh, chugging, we're chugging because we can't be walking while you have that. I know. See, so he doesn't want to throw it away. This is hashtag Universal does it better. I mean, you guys have heard me say it and I'll say it again. We love Disney, but we would love it if we could like move about with our food and beverages as long as we stayed away from others. So Skipper Bob, again, great recommendation. Awesome recommendation. Thank you so much. You know it's Keep good it when he's not gonna let go go of it until it's all gone. So I'm not gonna walk with that. I'm not gonna let it melt. No. Nope. Doesn't want it to go to waste. Right, put that mask back on. Mask up. Mask up or you're out. We're walking. And we're walking. And we're walking. All right. 10 minutes from now, Susan's gonna have to drag me through the rest of the park. This is why I am driving. Jen says, will the straw fit under the, the face mask? Uh, technically, it will. Maybe. You could do that, but technically, that's not wearing your face mask properly. Yeah. And so, even though it could probably be done, the um, fact of the matter is, we try as hard as we can to be the best of examples for all of the other guests. And so, I don't like to even slip it underneath. I don't like taking and lifting my mask either. I take it off and I drink and eat or I put it on just because... Trying to be maintaining the example as much as we can because yep. we don't want anybody to be asked to leave, right? Exactly. 
love the music here today. Some great music in the World Showcase today. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful Monday for the most part. This has been a really good day so far. The crowds have not been too, too bad, even for a holiday such as Columbus Day. I don't know. Megan, are you still out there with us? And white beans. Is there a menu we need to look at? It sounded yummy. Is this it? Spicy Kenyan vegan corn and white beans with pigeon peas, quinoa, ancient greens, medley, and kachumbari like slaw. Like it sounds delicious. What happened? What is that? Like what? Did I just, did I do something when I put my phone in did my pocket? Did you delete someone? Did I delete somebody? He did, we're so sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I am so sorry. Huh. <laughs> You're fine. I put my phone in my pocket. And it deleted somebody's message. Use the message that I delete. We are sorry about that. Oh, it was Skipper Bob's. Long live your magic, dude. That's the last sorry. message I want to delete. That just went in my pocket. That's all. Sorry about that. Let me close my phone. If I ever delete any of you guys, it's generally by accident. <laughs> it's Unless generally you're by using accident. cuss words or talking. Unless you're being really, really disrespectful to other people, yeah. we're not going to hold you guys back. Things like that will get deleted because we could get in trouble with YouTube. But generally speaking, we don't. We don't even have to. I, do that I did that. Them. I think I did that with Jen about two weeks ago, didn't I? Was it Jen? Yeah, so I put my phone in my pocket and it happened to have our, our, our stream on the other phone and I uh, deleted her. I think I either deleted her or I like hid her from the comments or something. So. As long as you don't discuss any forbidden subjects. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Or use cuss words. Generally, whatever you say is fine. Thank you. They didn't tell us we had to leave the park for that it message. Wasn't. That's the old message. Ah. That was the old message. Here, let me, uh, I want to put that, I want to make sure I'm, I'm good with everybody on this because I, I really am afraid that I... Due diligence. He's making sure he didn't mess anything else up. It's like the YouTube version of a butt dial. <laughs> yes, basically. Chris's pocket strikes again. You know, yes. I'm very, I'm very, um, I'm very uh, open to chatting with everybody, but my pocket, my pocket is just hard to deal with. No. So, picky. So, so close. Picky. My pocket is so close minded. <laughs> so, Brenna, we are in Germany. We actually just kind of walked through Germany. Yep, we're getting ready right to up in Italy. Walk into Italy. Now, if you'll notice, they're really. There is n there are not many people here right now. It is it is love. Yes. So and that's something to keep in mind. Generally speaking, weekends are always busier than weekdays here. So if you can plan a trip to come during the week, generally speaking, you're going to have much lower crowds overall. Counting on Chris to read all the comments because that sun is oh. officially blinding me. Jen says we passed the little trains. Uh, we did pass the little trains. Our kids, when they were younger, we would spend a good bit of time there every time we visited because they loved that. <laughs> Jen says that I, 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 uh, I deleted five of her comments and it was told that she couldn't comment on on YouTube anymore. Oh no, Jen! <laughs> so sorry about that. I blame my I blame my, my pocket. <laughs> it's the pocket's fault. All the pocket's fault. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So Linda says, uh, did you catch my post? I don't know if I did. Is there um let me go back and see. 
Well, I learned there's a group on Facebook that's called Ear for Each Other. Oh, that's ah, cool. That's cool. Where furloughed or laid off cast members can advertise crafts that they make or services that they offer where the community can join. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to look that up. Do you know if that's on Facebook, right? So if you guys want to check that out, Ear for Each Other. Instead of here, that's E-A-R. Ear for Each Other. I'll have to look look at that uh, yeah. later on this afternoon. Thanks for we'll letting me know. We'll have to check it out. Oh, the sun. It's back out again. I think I still timed out Skipper Bob. It says for 300 seconds. How long is 300 seconds? I don't know. I don't How know. many like minutes is minutes? that? So sorry, Skipper oh, Bob. Dude. He told us about an awesome drink in my pocket. He said, he's out of here. Chris's pocket stinks. Yes, I don't. No I don't know if I. I don't think you. I agree with my pocket. My pocket and I have uh, a disparity. We are passing my current favorite <laughs> quick service location. <laughs> this timeout just ended. He goes, Yay! I was. He says, I was just put in timeout. No more tipsy ducks for you. Oh, <laughs> we're so sorry. Oh, but you know, Skipper Bob, if anybody was to be accidentally put out by my pocket, I would rather it be you than anybody else, because you know. I think you're understanding how just, you know, impatient and impertinent my pocket can be. So. <laughs> so we just passed my favorite quick service location in Epcot currently, which is the Regal Eagle Smoke. Let me flip it around real quick. So that would be the Regal Eagle. It is mobile order. If you have an allergy, you can walk in. I did because I wanted gluten-free garlic toast yes. and it is not currently on the menu so you can you can walk up and tell them you need a allergy order and they'll let you go inside and order yes. so the last time we were there the chef that was running things totally hooked me up with some garlic gluten-free garlic toast which was amazing i think my I think my pocket is mad that i ate all the egg rolls and didn't share one of my egg rolls with the pocket mm. I think that's what happened. Barbecue jackfruit. I have not heard, had that yet, but I have been tempted because I have heard really good things about it, and it is one of the things on the menu. Has Megan had it? Have you had it, Megan? Have you had the ba barbecue jackfruit? So. I've heard that jackfruit is delicious. So good, they said. Both Jen and Megan both think that it's uh, pretty good. We're going to have to give it a try. I'll be willing to try it. Look, it's another tipsy duck. Aw, he's not tipsy. Dude, oh, Skipper Bob said he made some recently. Really? Oh, wow. I guess if you could, you could play around with it. You, you should try it at home and just see what the kids think, not even, even tell them what it is. Of course, should, we should probably try it first and make sure we know yeah, what we're tasting. I think so. Um, for the most part. Doesn't Spaceship Earth look kind of cool this afternoon? And then look, um, we always talk about this with our kids whenever we come over. Um, look at the building, um, which if you can see the, the cylindrical silver building, that is Test Track. The light blue building behind it, that is the uh, new coaster for um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. And so our kids often ask the question, and we have this discussion, I think almost every time every we come, time. Every time. is why did Disney choose the color blue that they did? Because like for today, you can kind of more easily see it. Yeah. But honestly, there are days where, of course, when that we show up, just about it gets about that. When it's much brighter here, especially in the brighter part of the day, the building really does blend in quite well with the yeah. remainder of the background. Now, there are the days, of course, when we have the sun, uh, is shaded by clouds and then it just sticks out like a sore thumb but you know if you have to look for a color you have to pick something and which color is going to be uh, the one that majority of the days will blend in so well and so just an idea that that blue that you're looking at right there if you had all of the days 365 days disney has done their research to say that is the color of the sky that is more often than any other color sky here in florida with the trees yeah on the back side the back the bottom half of the building is colored a dark green so if you're looking at it from the parking lot 
the uh, it will blend in with the landscaping around it so it is meant to be in a way very much hidden if you're not looking for it in the same kind of way i don't know if we can see it from here i don't think we can but there is a building that is hidden that is hidden just behind canada can barely see it from right yeah just barely see it over over the uh, horizon over there behind england um it is actually soaring um and that building um and it's blue painted such that it will also and it i think it was probably it was only about four years ago that i first saw that building and noticed it yeah. so it's uh it's all about hiding things and making sure that um it's sort of uh out of your perspective if you're not actively looking for it in the same way like the the, the ride buildings that you get over at some of the uh, attractions over in the magic kingdom that you know you don't ever get an idea when you're riding the haunted mansion the building that you're seeing up front is a facade. It, in a way, it's a facade. It's not where the actual ride is. So they have to take the building where the actual attraction's hidden and kind of hide it in the background so no one gets an idea that they're going anywhere else other than just that one mansion. There's an interesting example of that actually that you can see from Morocco, right? It's from another park that they- Yes, you can actually at certain uh, perspectives here in epcot you can see the top of um, the tower of terror from the hollywood studios and so that section of hollywood tower of terror is actually decorated in such a way that it blends into and is part of the uh the landscaping or the skyline of morocco so that if you're standing in the right spot over on the other side of the world showcase and you can see the Tower of Terror. It actually just looks like a background being a part of the Morocco that skyline. It blends with the other buildings. The color. Love the Disney Imagineering. They, they put a lot of thought into the details for things like that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly, Bob. Stick, sticks out on, a, on a, like a sore Thank thumb. Look, they have the, uh, they have the ball. Hello. Look at the balls over there. I love the large balls. The exception would be when so. eating or drinking while stationary. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose while coughing and sneezing and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. Good afternoon, Taylor. How are you doing today? We are on the back end of the World Showcase Roundabout. And thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. We have about 15 minutes. So we have enough time to go get some cheese bread and share it with Megan virtually. That is that is Susan's Susan's uh, secret desire is every time she comes into Epcot that she's going to have an opportunity to get some some Brazilian cheese bread. And I don't ask for a bite because I know that she has very few options and she can enjoy it. Besides, I gave her a sip of my tipsy duck, right? Yeah. You had two egg rolls. <laughs> two egg rolls. Yeah, one of them was dipped. That was a dipped egg roll. Add that to the menu. I think they should just put an egg roll in the cup, Bob, and just fill the tipsy duck around it. I can, I can smell the incense. Oh, we are passing Spice Road table right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. An egg roll straw. They could, they could cut out the center of the egg roll. Oh, that is and you so could just, just suck it right out of the egg roll. Just no. Don't encourage you guys. Don't encourage you. See, this group think is awesome. So many great ideas. Record this for posterity's sake. The 2021 Epcot Food and Wine Festival is going to be amazing when we come up with stuff like this. New egg roll straws. It's biodegradable. It's green. And it's good for the environment. And there's no such thing as a dry egg roll. <laughs> Tipsy egg roll. There we go. Yep, so we're coming up on the edge of the uh, France Pavilion. And Morocco is the Brazilian 
outdoor kitchen. And it has the crispy pork belly and the pao de quejo, Brazilian cheese bread. Brought to you all today by Haunted Mansion 138. Awesome. Haunted Mansion 138 says, hashtag, don't dip in the duck. <laughs> So, Levin Disworld wants to know if we've ever had the macaron ice cream sandwich. Yes. So, Susan just had the the pumpkin spice one just a few weeks ago. It's a favorite of mine. Um, and I love the fact that, you know, they usually have two flavors. They have the um, one that stays the same, and then they have the seasonal one. How about you guys, Levin Disworld? What's your favorite macaron flavor? Did you, do you need anything like a napkin or something? To... Okay. Here's here's a cut table right across the way. You want to go that way? Look at the friendship boat. Yes, Love and Disney World, they did. They had the uh, pumpkin spice macaron. And whoop, we're going to try the other direction. There we go. We're going to try the other direction and get to the table. They do have the pumpkin spice macaron with the ice cream. Um, it really is a great, uh, a great use for a snack. No? Is it... Oh, okay. We can find another space. They're having a moment over there. Yeah, not like angry crying. So we'll let them have their space. You can grab a wall over here. So Megan has provided us. Thank you so much for the super chat. You, and we, uh, with that, has gotten some Brazilian cheese bread, which is Susan's favorite snack to get here. Outside and it's all chewy on the inside. And this is the thing I miss about bread is the chewiness. So the fact that this is gluten-free but still chewy is Because well. you don't normally get that in a gluten-free bread. Yeah. And it's really hard when the kids... And it is gluten-free, yes. Gluten-free. Uh, so she can have it all day long. And usually the kids want a bite. So whenever we come over with the kids, we usually end up getting two. Yep. It's not all cheese, is it? It's what type of... Um, it's tapioca flour. So, which also adds to this stretchy texture. If you think about... I honestly, guys, for not being someone who is gluten-free, I could eat this all day long and not feel like I'm missing out on anything. Oh, you're good. Go ahead, enjoy. I did. I had two egg rolls. I am awesome. Besides, I don't have any, I don't think I have anything to dip it into. No dipping. <laughs> Do they bake it or deep fry it? It's baked. See, the, the um, dough is really, really sticky, as you can imagine, since it still has this chewy texture. Even I like the baked. texture of it. It's, 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 it's got the, um, it is chewy like bread. It really is a, a comfort food as far as the enjoyment of it all. And, I mean, it's not something in which if you had given it to somebody to try, you do it and say, oh, this is gluten-free. Oh, Skipper Bob hasn't tried it yet. See, Skipper Bob, next time you're in, grab your tipsy duck and head on over to Brazil. Dip away, dip away. They also have, um, just Cheese dip. The, um, <laughs> totally derailed belly, her. The crispy pork belly with black meat. Yes. And this is a good accompaniment. Now you can have the you can have the pork belly as well, Again, right? And it is also gluten-free. So both items at the Brazilian uh, Pavilion are gluten-free, and I love the the pork belly too. Um, now I will tell you the portion on the pork belly is not huge. Oh, no. 
So it's not like you can have, you know, it's not a meal. yeah, it's not a meal. And you know, when they have the five of us come over, the kids usually want to have a bite as well. We barely get a bite between everybody, but it is, um, it is a really solid dish. It's very flavorful. And again, the fact that you have two things that you can do for gluten-free, there's not a lot of gluten-free period. So it is kind of nice. <laughs> I'm, ig I'm ignoring stop the dip. <laughs> Hashtag stop the dip. I was, I'm sorry, but, you know, I got to have my movie references. You know I'm going to give you dad jokes. You know I'm going to give you movie references. But all I can think about is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And not the dip! It's the dip. <laughs> you know what's funny? We were just watching uh, Back to the Future this weekend with our kids again. And our kids, our kids just saw Back to the Future Part 3 for the first time this weekend. Um, we've been saving the last one. Um, they were excited because they really wanted to know why that train was in the middle of Universal Studios. And when the train finally appeared at the end, they jumped up. It's sort of like, you know, the first time you're in a movie and you hear them say the name of the movie. But it's so weird to think about how much we love Doc Brown. I mean, we love Christopher Lloyd, period, but you love him as Doc Brown. But then you see who framed Roger Rabbit. Great Scott. Oh my gosh, it's such a different character. That character scared me as a kid in the 80s. Especially at the end when he had the little daggers coming out of his eyes. Now, this is Doc Brown and he's gonna like, he's gonna dip all of our characters. But that's the sign of a good actor though. He does both the good and the bad equally well. So. All right, I have fully enjoyed Thank you, Megan, for my breath. That was good. Thank you so much, Megan. We appreciate it. And for all of you guys for the super chats, thank you guys so much. That is. Um, oh, the breeze is just amazing. Yes, yeah, Skipper Bob, that's kind of how it is with us. I mean, it was not anything really wrong with uh, Back to the Future, but we just wanted to, for the right time for, the, for our kids to see it. And um, uh, it's not that there was any reason why we didn't. It was just we wanted the right opportunity to show up. And, we actually took them to go see Back to the Future in the theater, in the movie theater, and I think that was the best way to do it. Yes. That, so, yeah, they, they were so excited when they came out of that theater after they watched Oh, it. they were so excited. They were so ready so to excited. see the second one. Um, and then after we saw the second one, I got, like, chastised for several weeks. And finally this weekend, I said, all right, guys, sit down, having dinner. We're watching Back to the Future Part 3. And uh, they were really excited, yeah. especially when they were talking about all the stuff and, and getting into the ideas. And I love it when my boys starts getting into the plots yes. and the plot holes and yeah. they're really starting to think about things. You know, that, that the geekiness, the nerdiness of, of getting and enjoying a classic movie like that. So, how's it going, Roy? Right. Having a good one today? Having a good one, man. Awesome, thank you. Um, that is, you know, the idea of when you see a, a movie that you as a kid watched and you got into it so much to see your kids have that same enjoyment. That's just a great feeling as a parent to be able to, to share that with them. And so I think that's why I kind of wanted to wait. I wanted to wait for that, you know, that right time. And it right, was the right time, I think. So. And they loved it. So. Great, Scott. I laughed so hard in, in, the, um, in the third one, uh, especially uh, Andrew, uh, Anthony, I mean, uh, when they, uh, they changed the roles, when uh, something happened and Michael J. Fox goes, great scott and doc brown goes yeah it's heavy <laughs> like i laughed it's like that's cool they just changed roles there and the funny thing is is the boys laughed too because they knew exactly why it was funny exactly old enough to get all the little nuances so taylor you can kind of see as far as the crowds go we had a 50 minute posted wait time at test track Which we was? were on in 25 yeah 25. um not too bad for a holiday. Mind you, it is the end of Columbus Day. Um, and it's been fairly well for the most part, a, a yep. good afternoon. We haven't had much problems with crowds. Mm -hmm. And it has been crowded a lot, say Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday this week. Yes. And it was a holiday weekend. So. Well, and a lot of schools give off Thursday and Friday to kind of... Um, 
bookmark that weekend with days off to make it a really long fall break. So Jen got our official time. It was 26 minutes for test track. Yes. So yeah, it was about a 50 half, minute wait. Yeah. It was about half of what they had posted. So. I thought I'd point out to you guys also, over here on the left, you guys uh, were able to join us on our last live stream here from Epcot. They have added quite a few tables out into the area around the pavilion, here on the sidewalk, on both sides of the street. So there's a lot more places to sit. Yes, which is good because the Yorkshire Fish and Chips shop is open. Yep, you get fish and chips now. They have some really cool fish and chips merchandise we saw on our last Epcot Very live stream. Cute. It is over here on the far side, not the Twining Sea, but the uh, but if you follow, you follow through. Door and follow Halfway through the little shop there in the England Pavilion, um, you can get some uh, really cool merchandise. Um, they've got uh, quite a few items, yeah. even some T-shirts yeah. for fish and chips, and some uh, homewares and housewares items, all uh, catered toward fish and chips. So Brenna's had the fish and chips here before. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, definitely, fan, Eric. We'll be most definitely. We're gonna one of those. We're gonna be able to hang out with you guys. I'm sure. Yes. Um, they do have gluten-free fish and chips at the quick service at Disney Springs for um, Raglan Road. Yes, Raglan Roads. Um, Captain Cooks. Their quick service. Yes. They have gluten-free fish and chips there. That's a good thing to know. I don't think you've ever tried it there, have I you? I have not tried it yet. I'm going to have to. It's on my list, but it's kind of like a specialty food. Like, generally, when we're with the kids, they want pizza or they want yeah. burgers or they want, you know, the flight thing. Our kids have So, I will say this. The last time we walked by there, I think one of the boys was interested. They, they were piqued about it. Caleb. Yes. So, you know, that might still be a possibility. Our little foodie. Yes. Our kids are foodies at the, to the extent that they are foodies mainly because we brought them Epcot. to Epcot for the food festival for the food and wine festival and for the flower and garden festival yep. and we I mean I 100% I attribute their interest in trying different foods and doing different things culinary wise solely because of the fact that they had so many different options to try coming to the Epcot so when you know we, we talk to families we talk to families who are you know coming to the parks um, we, we're, we are an example of how that has positively affected our family as now that they are more open to try yes. and excited to try new foods solely because of that. If you so, are just doing a little taste, like you're buying a plate of something, a serving of something and sharing it with the whole family, it's not that expensive to maybe try something in every country and it turns into just a, a fun cultural thing. As opposed and to going to a restaurant and getting an entire entree. And there's no commitment. There's right. one bite. You don't like it, no big deal. If you do like it, you get it, and every time you come back. Yes. And so. Some of the foods our kids love now that they want to have a whole serving to themselves are things that we did that. We bought a serving. Everybody tried it. Some liked it. Some didn't. No pressure. And I think uh, it's funny that my eldest is very excited about coming back to the Festival of the Holidays because some of his favorite festival foods are during the Festival of the Holidays. So I think it's great that our kids each have something that they like. Like, for instance, our, our, our daughter and son love the Frushi and Flower and Garden. Um, we all love the Citrus Chicken, which is what we're passing right now. We refer to as the chicken. You guys can cry. You guys can try the chicken. We just call it the chicken because it's so good. Over here, the citrus blossom. And then, of course, you know, at the uh, festival of the holidays, um, they really love the cheese fondue with the vegetables. Yes. I don't know. It's just cheese, but uh, you know, it's it's good. Oh, uh, Richard was saying the fish and chips are good, but that lobster roll from American Pavilion, oh. it really is good. I love the lobster yeah. roll. And uh, I wish they would open the Columbia Harbor House in the Magic Kingdom because they also have a lobster roll there on the menu. You can try it out there as well. And it's available all year round when Columbia Harbor House opens. Of course, it's an actual full entree. That was one of our magic made moments was when you ordered it and then they 
we picked up our food and Liberty had some regret or something and not ordering that and the or the cast member disappeared and came back with a lobster roll and like a clam chowder for her something like that like yeah just brought again food. a good example of how cast members are just so attentive and amazing yes. our daughter made a bad decision in ordering and not ordering something that she really wanted afterwards and they just brought it to her they just, just went and got it and brought it to brought her. her a lobster roll and a thing of clam chowder and said you really wanted this and she made it happen and that made our daughter's afternoon so we have so many examples of that jen i bet you guys have some really fresh lobster rolls up there too some amazing ones oh and the hawaiian food the teriyaki glazed spam hash oh yeah really good so so we made our way back over here to the front of the uh, epcot world showcase and I just wanted again, um, as we talked about earlier, um, cast members, our hearts are out to you guys. We yeah. want to do what we can to make it possible for you guys to come back. If you're back, we're glad that you're here and working again. Yes. If you're not, we hope that you can be sustained that you can eventually come back. But if not, you guys, this is just something that allows you to find that potential in yourself. And I know that you're gonna find something else new, yeah. but we really hope that if you can, you can come back. Cause yes. we love our cast member family. And so we talk about the fact that, you know, we work hard to try to make sure that it's possible that we can open up parks. If you know someone or you yourself are ready to come back to Walt Disney World for a vacation, if you're able to, you're, you're healthy enough and the conditions are right and you want to make that trip back, give us a call and let us know. We are our travel nation travel agents. We do help our travel clients. No cost to them. Disney will pay us when you guys travel. We help you. You help our small business. And of course, Disney gets their crowds back up again we can bring our cast member friends back. And that's the best way we know of to try to do what we can to get people to come back and get our cast members back as well. So thank you guys so much for all that you do, for what we are, as far as Ear to Ear Magic, for supporting us, for hanging out with us here at Epcot today. It was a lot of fun. Yes, we had a blast with you guys. So thank it was a lot so of fun. It was an awesome afternoon. And I hope that our Mondays bring a little bit of uh, Disney magic, magic into the rest of your week and give you some magic to make it to the worst service. So thank you guys for supporting us. If you had a great time today, Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. That lets YouTube know that maybe somebody else would like to watch our live stream. If you're watching our live streams for the first time, we're going to live stream every Monday and every Friday that we can and every Wednesday if we can get it to fit in there. So yeah, we'll we're going to try to be a lot more of a, a, a regular schedule for you guys on Monday yes. afternoons. So come back and join us next live stream. We would great to have that as well. Yes. And uh, we just want to make sure that if that's something you'll be interested in, subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification so the next time we put a live stream up, you guys get notification of it. Mm -hmm. We'd we'll love for you to spend that time with us in the parks. It means a lot to us, so thank you so much. So, from us, I just want to say, may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. And thank you guys so much. We will see you in, in the, the parks. parks.